Right. Actually, this albums. album, this album is going to be decorated sideways because it is going to be a purse. A purse. She's going to make a purse. It's going to be a purse. Good morning, ladies. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. We got two lovely people with us so far. I know Penny said she had a lot of doctor appointments. So she can't join the smack a hole group. Smack a hole. <laughs> smack a hole, love a hole. Smack a hole. Slap a hole. <laughs> when your hoe gets out of line, slap her. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yep, smack a hole. Okay, so because I'm making a purse, a pretty precious purse, I have to decorate my my front this way instead of this way like I normally do. So I picked out this paper, which is going to go on the front. That one's going to go on the back. And this here, I haven't decided which one I want to use, what side, because it's both so beautiful. Um, like anyway, probably going to use this side because it's going to stick out really well over the purse. So I need to get this centered somehow. Uh, so we don't smack a hoe or two. I'm just going to roughly do this and see how great of a job I did at centering. Can't get any better than that. Hallelujah. So that's how I'm doing it. I ain't even scoring these. Because I am wrapping these first. That's the way you, the ball bounces. Okay, so let me just have a look. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so pretty. Yeah, I like so that. pretty. But I can still see we are not quite middle. Not quite tight. And I want it tight as could be. So let me just stretch this paper over get rid of that line I made and remake a new one. That's where it's going to go. Like that. Okay. Now I'm happy that it's nice and tight. Okay. So. Wow. And then we're just going to fold up these sides on each side kind of Butt them up evenly if I can, and we will fold it over without it being crooked, of course. I can do a good job at centering this, or we're gonna have to smack a hole. <laughs> Guess we're smacking Martha. <laughs> Why not? I'm in the end shit because <laughs> Martha likes to sleep around. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> Actually, you're mad at Ian, aren't you? Yeah, that's all right. You should be. Okay. Seen him last night, no big deal. You went out last night again? Yeah, well, I went to go get my tire fixed, and I did have a screw in it, and they didn't charge me a thing to fix it. It was like, yay. Really? I might as well have a beer. As well, might as well go smack a hoe. What's what, Johanna? Uh, I couldn't type very well because I didn't have my light on. So have you talked to Mary last night? Who, me? Yeah. yeah, about the package that she got. Oh, I called Canada Post. Yeah, but I wanted to know if the one that, the other one that arrived home, if it was the big box. That was the big one. The big box. That second box she got was okay, the big one. It was the first box that she got. All right. That's missing all the contents. 
every single piece of it. So I sent the pictures off in an email to Kenneth Post, and they're going to do an investigation. But they did tell me they have to wait to hear back from uh, USPS because he's, she said we usually communicate with them, but she said that could take up to 10 days. I was like, well, tell me something. At least you got the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. So... That's going to go like that. Isn't that pretty? So there's one done. Got to get it all score taped and whatnot. Now we got to do the same with this one. <laughs> all right. right. Make it perfect. Okay, so I'm going to just eyeball it here. And hope I got it right. If not, it's going on the back. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Looks like it's going to work. So I guess we're not smacking Martha. Yay! We're not smacking a home. Ah. Uh. Nope. Not today, Martha. Okay. Just uh, not today. Yeah. Not today, Satan. Not today. Do you remember that video? Okay, please tell me you're going to work. Let me just flip it around. Oh, muffin. And let's see if I can get this even, Stephen. Open you up. And eyeball it. All right. Perfect. I hope. Okay, now, actually, let me see if that's even on both sides. Well, it's good enough. So, you're the back. So, you're going to go that away. Oh, I've got to trim it. Jeez. And don't trim it right to the corner. For some reason, you need that little extra piece in there to cover up your corner, so... I don't cut right to the corner when I miter the corner. Like I don't go right to this very corner. I kind of, kind of go about an eighth of an inch below it, maybe sixty. I don't know, something like that. Okay. All right. So you are done. You're gonna go ghastly. And you're gonna go that way, and like so, and like so. That's pretty good. So there's the front and the back. Now we need to do these three pieces. And again, I said I like this piece, so we're just going to cut off. I'm gonna have to get another sheet because one is not gonna cut it. All right, so I do need to do use my cuppa. <coughs> so let's get this in here. There's one. Save this little strip because I could use it probably. There's two. And I need one more, so that means I have to grab this one. And taken. one more this way. I uh, know, you know what? Let's do the spine with this, the other spine and the front flap. I want to do a different paper. Um, I wonder what this would look like. Morning, Nikki. Put it off for the front flap. So let's have a look at what that would look like on the front flap. Nope, it would have to go this way. So kind of like, yeah, I think that's going to look pretty cool. 
Oh, it's on the back. Nothing. No. Uh, what paper collection is this, Ruby? Morning this Crystal. is precious. So, we're going to trim off this front. Oh, I want to let you guys know I got my wholesale account with Stamparia. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. That's so sweet. All right. So, this is perfect. Now, let's cover up. So, this is going to be my front flap. Um, this doesn't have to be in any specific size but hey if we get it straight that would be great i just got to make sure i attach it properly when i go to attach all these pieces you know attach it properly <laughs> Someone deleted the uh, answering machine messages on KK. Now she's got all the um, spring. Oh, brain farting. Oh, my God. <sighs> Just cray cray. Spring break. Just cray cray. Yeah. Oh, grandkids had that last weekend. Well, my son's supposed to have it this week, but magically somehow it's next week. And I had oh. a message on my answer machine, but it got deleted, so I can't throw it up in their face and say, yeah, y'all switched it at the last second. Oh, I love that. That's pretty, guys. That's pretty. Oh. I think I'm going to use this on the one spine, and then, I don't know. What does it matter, Libs? Yeah. It's to be dipper in. Yeah. Hi, Therese. Good morning. Good morning. Right. <sighs> Get your butt in gear. You're going to school. Who's going to school? My son. Oh, he doesn't That's have... Us. He doesn't have spring break this week? It's not until next week. Oh. Uh, something's see. wrong with these markers. Uh oh. Send them back. Give them a smack. Oh, the pins that I just got. So this one goes that way. And hey, we're going to use. Hi, Angela. Hello. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I'm fine. I caught. Hello. What, I caught what uh, Karen was saying. Karen, if you have the automated message stuff that they call your phone, right? Well, on yeah. mine, I have the same thing. They also send me an email to where there's a link to the voicemail in case I they didn't get to, in case you didn't get to your phone or your phone's dead or you didn't get the. Huh. They'll send you an email with the voicemail. I'll have to check email. my vo my email. Uh, yeah, this is so it's frustrating. Yeah, um, and then what I would do is, is I would put your phone on record and record the voicemail from the message link because I always we always get. You always get like two options, at least here in Tennessee. Well, they sent that vote. They sent it out because the you know how the teachers here in West Virginia were protesting. 
The kids so end up missing like what? two weeks of school. We want two weeks for more pay. Yep, for more pay. And their parents were complaining because that's two weeks that they can lose some of summer vacation. So they sent out the same thing saying that spring break will be from March 26th until the 2nd. They go back to school the 2nd. And they will still be dis, uh, uh, let out of school June 4th instead of making up those two weeks. You go all the way to June That's okay, though. 4th? Yep. Good goal. Well, they start school here later, too. Well, that's what you should ask. Because, uh, well, Michaela ain't got to deal with it no more after she graduates in 20 something days. That's a, no, a little over a month. Hold on, a little over a month. Okay. Graduate. Morning, Debbie. Good morning, Debbie. 2020 is the last time for me. Woo! Can't wait. Last time for what, girl? My youngest graduates twenty twenty. Oh, okay. I won't have to deal with any of this anymore. No. Nope. I asked Michaela. I said, "Are you sad?" She goes, "No." She says. High school isn't challenging anymore. I said, well, you need challenges. She goes, academically, Mom, she says, it's not challenging anymore. And it's actually boring. I said, well, I'm my, not my son said the same thing, my oldest. Your oldest? Yeah, I said, well, you know what? I said, first start in a college, it's probably going to be a little bit of the same. But just hang in there. But see, I, that's what I'm excited. You know, actually, I'm excited that she said that. Because it, she goes, they just, you know, that gives her, shows me that she has more drive to want something more challenging. That means, uh, you know what I mean. It's kind of like a, a, uh, a headache this morning. What am I saying? It's like you want something more enriching and, and challenging and, uh, Stuff so Cole is gonna give her that. So, yeah, <laughs> I've got her. I'm trying to put in here about the information about my mom, and I put release from school, and I meant to put release from hospital. <laughs> How is your mother? Um, she's doing a lot better. She's still got a long road ahead of her. Um, she, they said that she's going to be on the chemo pills basically for the rest of her life. The type of leukemia she has, there's no cure for it. A lady at work has that. The same kind as your mom, I think. She's just living off of just medication and remission. Yes. Um, and then he said... Um, the doctor, her doctor, he's like the head of the cancer center, and he's he's like the best doctor there. He was telling us that, um, depending on the stage of it at that it's at, she can live a normal, uh, elderly life. I guess that's what you want to call it. I don't want to say adult life because she's past the adult life. Um, that she can live a normal life depending on the stage of it. So that's why they were doing the bone ops, bone biopsy, the bone marrow. Um, so that came back, and they said that it was at the chronic stage, which is the beginning stage of the cancer. Oh. And once they nip it at the beginning of the stage, they have a better, uh, they have a more of a chance of going into remission. Even though they go into remission, they're still on the medication. Right. It's just that's they don't like have to her. check them as frequent. Well, that's great news. Yeah. Now, uh me ask how did she find out what happened to her to, for her to get this diagnosis uh, so i have to go back a little bit so it's november she she found out her kidneys were uh failing on her and um it took her a couple months to get in to see the specialist but we found out that one of her kidneys is completely gone like it's shriveled up into a raisin her other kidney is declining 
So they were doing tests on her, and they sent her to an oncologist. The oncologist got all of her blood results, and when it, this all, it, like, it just happened so fast. She went and saw the oncologist, I think it was on the 20th. Um, he called and said, I need you in here now. This can't wait. You need to be here now. Got her in there. He straight admitted her straight to the ER and um, basically told us that her white blood count, cell count was so high that she was on the ma- on the verge of a major heart attack or stroke because her body was so invaded with these bad blood cells. So that's why they transported her, and that's when we found out that she has CNI leukemia. Her, her spleen is like 10 times the size that of the normal size spleen. It's like completely taken over her stomach. She's lost 14 pounds. Okay, what type of leukemia? CML. CML, okay, okay. It's chronic my it's chronic my something, but what it is is chromosome nine attaches to chromosome twenty nine, and v- vice versa. Chromosome twenty nine can attach to chromosome nine. Basically, it's a chromosome gene, and that's what starts the reproduction of the what bad blood cells. So, it, like, it morphs. Yeah. Well, is this genetic? No, it's not genetic. Okay. Thank God, it's not genetic. Um. But uh, they did, the, the reason why we know it's at the first stage, because her body is still producing the good blood cells that she needs. It's just that her body's just um, infested with the bad, bad cells right now. And what we got to do, we've got to kill them off and then get them flushed out of her system. And then he said that's going to take a couple months to get it there. But we got it to where we ain't got to worry about a heart attack or stroke. Good. My dad has a uh, weird blood disease. Only men can catch it. And it's hereditary. For, oh, gosh. He had, what his was is he had too much iron in his blood. And I crap you know. Uh-huh. You ever heard, of, you know how they say they used to blood let back in the, you know, back in the. They took a Don't, pint. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they took a pint of blood out of my dad once a month until they got that iron out of his um his iron was so high uh, i can't remember what it was called hema hema something and uh, so i was wondering with all the white blood cells something similar like flush clean blood into her Mm-hmm. Well, see, what happened with my mom is that with her, okay, the first sign that you have the CML leukemia is if your spleen's enlarged. That's one of the first signs. Because your body, your kidneys, and your spleen, they're like, uh, yin, yin, yin. They, they work with each other. Yeah, they're the spleen like, also helps take toxins, takes toxins out of your bodies before it gets to your kidneys. Well, her, kid, her spleen is enlarged, so it's not able to work like it should. Which is causing the decline in kidneys. Huh. Right. Well, so they're hoping that if they get that down, they'll stop the production, the the progression of the decline of her kidneys. How is she doing on the medication? Um, she gets a little nauseous, but I told her that's expected. Um, it, regardless of the side effects, she needs it. If it's not causing an allergic reaction, you know, sometimes you got to suck it up so you can get through it. So, yeah, I have I have uh, two medications that keep me Um, She's here. That's all that matters right now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's oh, like, dryer's yeah. done. <laughs> Tell her to eat Zofrian. Tell her to give us her, her well, Zofrian for nausea. They, well, actually, they gave her. She's she's actually on eleven different medications right now. Oh, I'm sure. I'm probably. So, I'm, uh, she has to go twice a week to her primary care doctor um, because Doctor Powell from the Wayforce Medical Center is going to be her doctor from there, and he's going to send the orders down of what he wants to make sure it's getting tested. Um, so she's got to go twice a week to get blood drawn. 
just so that we can just make sure her blood count is going down where it needs to be at. That's getting rid of the bad ones. Right. As soon as her blood count is down, that'll stop. She'll start going probably maybe once. Once every six months, yep. Yeah. And well, for you to be considered in remission, you have to be, I think it's two years for you of high, high white blood count to be considered remission. Well, like Ruby said, there's like that lady that Ruby works with is mission as long as she's taking the medication. And, and now that they caught it early, um, I have hope and faith, girlfriend. Yeah, and she's retired now. Hi, Penny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Getting she's ready on, for your well, because she also, she also has. And she also has thyroid problem, and she has fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis. So she's on disability. She's got multiple sclerosis. Wow. I, yeah, I have fibro. My mom's a walking medical book right now. She. You have to see my record, my folder at my doctor's office. Good Jesus Lord. I have to. Go so to I want to tell y'all something weird, something creepy. Well. When I when I saw this, I knew everything was gonna be all right. Okay, you know how you get signs of people that passed away. Uh huh. Okay. Well, my mom went into hospital on the twentieth. My dad passed away June twentieth, which was on my mom's birthday. She was in the hospital the twentieth. Then we found out Thursday that if everything looks good, she'll be going home. He said either Sunday or Monday. Sunday, the day that she was discharged was my parents' anniversary. It would have been 41 years. You know what? Michaela was supposed to have been born on the 20th. But she was taken five, uh, she had to be induced five days early for toxemia. Her due date was June 20th. What? That's just so crazy. Yes, ma'am. Her due date was June twentieth, and um, that was that was ten days before my mother's birthday, and we were excited. It was like you know, and uh, we had it all planned and everything, and then we were told I had to be induced on the fifteenth. Mm. Yes, ma'am. You know, another thing: these chemo medicines, depending on which which one you get, because I already researched it before I even got to the hospital to my mom. They could be anywhere from three thousand to seven thousand dollars a month. And oh, we were already stressing about how we were going to cover this. I actually cried. The doctor goes, he goes, yeah, the medication that we're going to put you on there between three four thousand dollars a month. He goes, but your mom has really good health insurance. So it's going to cost her eight dollars a month. My mama, my mama's been been going to the doctors back and forth, back and forth uh, for about two months now. And uh, she has a real, she, her knee is like bone on bone. There's no um, cartilage or fluid in between her knees. Yesterday or other day, she called me. She goes, well, I told them I don't want to do surgery. And they, there's this new thing that they got where they give her three shots in her knee. Now, it, it, it's not a, it's not a quarter zone. Like a new stuff. And she goes, and the shots are three thousand dollars a piece. And I went, what? You know, I was mm -hmm. like, what? and she goes, oh, by the way, my insurance is going to cover free. I mm -hmm. like, I, yeah, my mm -hmm. yeah. I was thinking the same thing with you. I was like, we had are you hung over, Martha? No. I had mm -hmm. to work my butt off to get a refund. Morning, Clint. She looks. Martha looks very tired. Like she's been up all night. Yep. I still got that sneezing going on. I just it's. Oh, I had that. Also. She looks yeah. like she's running a little ragged. Nothing. Don't mean that pun intended or being mean, but she looks really tired. Girl, you look like you gonna fall out. <laughs> fall out of what? <laughs> when your hoe ain't racked it right. <laughs> when your hoe ain't racked it right, you slap her. Fall out of that in imaginary basket we all ride in with a hoe washing up. Oh, well, we could just smack a hoe or two. Right? 
<laughs> right? I'm all down for slapping a hoe. Line Smack a hell. Go ahead. Why not? Go ahead. <laughs> Poor Martha. Just go ahead. Just hit me. Just get her done. Get her over with. Right. Right. Get her done. I tell you one damn thing. Ruby's books ain't gonna fall apart. What? I said your books will never fall apart. <laughs> no. No. Not well when you're dealing with the front and a back cover. What the heck is that? When you're dealing with the front and a back cover, you know the weight on the front. Uh huh. You just don't want any of this to pull off, right? Right. Right. Ah, right, then. I'll use this one. Nailed it. I haven't tried that water up my nose yesterday, and that didn't even help. Water up your nose. Yeah. Don't see that the fun. neti pot? Huh? You mean the neti? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I just took a spoon with water in it and snorted it. Oh, oh God. You're supposed to take warm salt water. It's here, Ruby. He says to tell you hi. Who is? Clint. Hi, Clint. Long time no see. Where are you hiding, Clint? You're just. Right? We don't just see you. We don't see you much anymore like we used to. Why? Are you got? Are you? Have you run off and got married? On all of us, ladies. I wasn't ready. Okay, that's not very good. All right, Vicky. I read him. It's time to have fun. Clint went off and got married on us. He's cheating on us, girls. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Clint. No, he's just in time for his slap of his slap a hoe day. Come on, Clint. Yes. <laughs> Slap all day. <laughs> He's just been crafting. Oh, you just been crafting, eh? Oh, okay. Clint is the rooster right, of the we? head house. <laughs> <laughs> He's the cock in the in the coop. <laughs> He's the cock on the doodle. Yeah, that too. Doodle -doo. Cock blocker. <laughs> <laughs> KK, did you just go there? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I posted a video yesterday on Facebook about the, the crazy commercial about this. For I miss being here. You have no idea. I miss laughing. I miss hanging out with all y'all. Well, we missed you. So just so you know, I need to get back in. I need to get back in the routine. Somebody come slap me. I'm not a hoe, or else I say, "Come slap my hoe." Back back. Hoe. Oh, no. Give me your face. <laughs> She's lying. It, it, okay. Nope. I'm a, I'm a classy hoe. Psych. Psych. <laughs> Is there a such thing? As, is there such thing as a classy hoe? Sure there yeah. is. It Why all not? depends on the lingerie. It's called dames. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess edible underwear is not classy. No, no, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's just regular. That's just regular. You need edible it's, lingerie. It's, it's it's a dessert before the main chorus. Well, kind of like right. My God, is your husband <laughs> sitting right there? <laughs> Orange. What am I doing with that? <laughs> you would not believe what I caught myself watching last night. I couldn't really, I couldn't fall asleep for nothing. Oh, so, boy. I was through so, well, I'm scared to even know. I'm scared to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, you're scaring us. I don't think okay. Ask is going to stop her. Like, okay, it started know. off. Now, let me tell you how this happened. It started off. I watch, uh, like, I listen to stories. You know, on YouTube, you can um, get uh, pull up these, like, these ghost stories. They're called creepypastas. Mm -hmm. 
and my daughter introduced me to them. Well, some of them are freaking creepy as hell, so I stopped watching them because I was like, I was listening to one of them. One of them really was creepy, and I was like, uh uh-uh, it's late at night. No, I'm not doing it tonight. I'm, you know, I want to go to sleep. So I flipped over to Facebook, and there was this lady live on Facebook. Her name was, uh, uh, it was called Parlay Pearls by Shonda, Chandra, or something like that. And this woman, you buy these trays of oysters, and a tray is five dollars. Uh, you get five oysters for like seventy-five dollars, or two trays for one hundred thirty-five. And these suckers have real pearls in them, right? And the pearls are specially dyed or whatever, so they can get um, these like mermaid colored ones and pink ones and yellow ones and blue ones. I sat there for two hours watching this woman shuck oysters, and these women were buying them by the trays. Well, I went over there, you know, I was like, okay, what, you know, what was this all about? And this is actually a thing. Like, this is like a, a several women do this. They, people. I've pre- seen that. Yeah, people pre order uh, trays of oysters and then these women open them up live and say, okay, here's your oyster. Sometimes they get good, like, good stuff in those. Well, but majority hey, of the time, I, I order some of this junk. Well, this is what I learned last night from her. She is a certified uh, oyster pearl expert. She went to, took the extra step and got certified. And there are two different ways you can get pearls. Okay, one way is if you, it's a way they dye the oysters. Okay, there's a dip and dye, like where they just dip the oyster in there. They dip the pearl in the dye is stuff it in the oyster while it's still alive and then the oyster does its job then there's the way she orders her oysters where they insert the dye into the oyster and as the she she was it was starts with the end but as the pearl rolls around in the oyster to, to you know develop it rolls around inside the dye so it's like okay it rolls around the dye and then the oyster puts a layer of nectarum or something like that over it and then it rolls around in the dye and puts another layer Jeez. well whatever it is so as the <laughs> what she's explaining is so as it rolls around it develops different layers of dye in the oyster so the oyster is actually dyed from creation to finish right so that's the type of oysters she purchases. Now there are these other women order the dipped ones, which are cheaper, and they can charge more. Uh, you know, and the difference is if you want to know if you got a cheap one or not, if they're dipped, like the one she says, within three to six months, the oyster will chip and they become like what Ruby said, nasty. You know, ucky and they'll lose their luster and the color will come off and everything else. But if you get the one she has, it's it stays that way. And uh, one lady I was reading in the chat, her last pearl appraised at three hundred and fifty dollars. Just one pearl. So, yeah. Wow. It was interesting, but I'm not paying those hundred and thirty five dollars for no tray of damn moisture. Uh, but isn't oysters a natural hyper react or whatever that thing is? Yeah, it's a hyper um hyper um uh, horny, yeah. Just say that word. Aphrodisiac, there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, I love how we went to edible panties to oysters. Hmm, someone trying to get the mood going. <laughs> nope. There is no money on this world will make me eat one of them damn things. This is like eating a fucking movie. Sorry. I've ha- okay, I have one rainbow. I've had one before. Okay. If you don't like fish, stay away. If you don't like slumber, yeah. like rubbery, don't eat it. 
No, I have to swallow it whole. That's what she said. No, no, no. no. I've seen people suck them things. It's like, ugh. no, 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 no. Sorry, no. I'm not one of those ones. I don't take it for the team. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna take one for the team. Nope. I say, t- uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> nope. I will never. I can't even eat. eat I can't even fathom the idea of eating shrimp. Or lobster. I tried a piece of lobster. Well, Y'all Jeff, and I, Jeff and I had a made shrimp Caesar salad for supper the other night. That was our supper. It was so good. I, would I love scallops. Oh my god, scallops are so good. Oh, I hate scallops. <laughs> Too fishy for me. Every time somebody then you ain't having a scallop, they say, "Oh, this is so sweet." I mean, what do you mean sweet? Hi, Ange. I made a mistake the other day, other night. I was <laughs> a little water marathon of, um, what was that? Bar food. Clint says, if you're crafty and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> <laughs> if you're crafty and you know it, clap your hands. If you're crafty and you know it, and you really want to show it. Really crafty and crafty you know it. Uh, no, if you're happy and you know it, clamp, clap, clap your scissors or something. If you're happy and you know it, get the scissors. Happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, I snored it. Source our us. Yes. <laughs> we are such professionals. Sorry, I need this. Uh, right? I'm a professional, I promise. No, I'm a professional. If you're a professional and you know, clap your hands. <laughs> if you're a professional and you know, it, clap your hands. If you're professional and you know it, and you really want to show it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you like Ruby? <laughs> <laughs> Look, my head's already hurting. What the hell? <laughs> Your head's hurting? Yes, I'm laughing. It's not getting the oxygen that it needs. If your head is hurting and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap, because I woke up that <laughs> Angela's is hurting too. Yeah, I woke up with a headache because I was you want... all day yesterday. Oh my God. Oh. Damn graphic pears. If you're happy and you want to slap a hoe, clap your hands. <laughs> If you're happy and you want to slap a hoe, clap your hands. Slap her like this. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, put that bitch in her places, slap that hoe. That's just way enough. Oh my god, I've turned these girls, I've corrupted them. I don't know, what's so funny? She got done saying that, and then Martha sits down. <laughs> Go ahead, slap a hole. Slap a hole. <laughs> Ruby is the professional score taper. All right. Yep. Um, um, impressionist yep. impresses her imprint on you. Huh? She's, she's a professional corrupter. That's what she is. She's a Hell professional no. enable corrupter. Hell to the no. I backed off, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, I backed off, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad Angela's here and I can hear her laughing because that makes me happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, Angela's <laughs> dying now. Oh shit, that was funny. Hell, dry, dry up and hit her. I'm telling you, but <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, but I'm telling
when she said that too. That was like funny. What now, what about Barbie? <laughs> can't cut a can't gonna come up and drive a slap to you. <clears throat> He's gonna give me a smack upside the head, is he? How about drift me into that? Like, she may be fake. She's gonna be. He's gonna be like. She may be fake to you, but she's real to me. I'll smack you so hard when you're clo When you wake up, your clothes will be out of style. That's what I used to tell my kids. <laughs> your clothes will be out of style. Clit says. Yes. <laughs> Clit says. He said, "If you fart and you do it toot, toot, toot." <laughs> okay, Clint's got a toot problem. Oh, I've heard saying, like, I've said it a couple times, but I've heard saying, I'll slap you into your next life or I'll slap the taste out of your mouth. Oh, do you want to hear a good one, Angela? Who yeah. the heck? Who the heck came up with that one? I don't remember who said it on this panel. But they said, oh, I think it was April. Yes. She goes, I'll slap you so hard until your ancestors feel it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think, I think it wasn't it Penny. I don't know. It might have been Penny. I don't remember. She was in here. Where are you at? That's because she was laughing Penny. so hard. She was laughing so hard when April said that. She goes, Oh my God, I have to use that line. <laughs> and she did use it, so, she said. Right. <laughs> Clint, Clint talks out his ass and pisses his pants. <laughs> Say what? Clint. Oh God, y'all. Clint <laughs> talks out his ass and pisses his pants. He goes, I do not. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> okay. I don't. I've got the funniest story last night. I don't know if I should tell it or not. But I was rolling for 30 minutes. Oh. Okay. Were you rolling in flour to find the wet spot? Hell no. <laughs> that is gross. Anyway, <laughs> gross. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. But okay, listen. No, it is on the. It's it, it is on the. Um, if you got virgin ears, we don't need to. Okay, so I'm over here watching YouTube because Danny watches these ridiculous sci-fi shows, right? I mean, like. They're so stupid sometimes. It's like, really, Davey, really. You know, I like these shows. So anyway, he's over here. He's got the cat in his lap. You know, he's watching his show. And I got my uh, headphones on. And I clicked on one of my favorite YouTubers. You know, I watch her every day. Posting every day. Trisha Paytas. Y'all know, I've, been, I've talked about her before. Well, she was talking about this new, no hissing lady. She said this new trend now is called massage porn. And I was like, oh, yeah. So she started pulling out all these massage tools and massage oils and, and sh uh, telling you how to use them. And you can go to this, her, this store and get people sent off and all this stuff. Because she's a sponsor for them. Was five porn, so I looked over at Danny. I pulled my headphones on and said, "Yeah, Danny." I said, "There's this new porn we need to do." He <laughs> he turned and looked at me. He had this shitty grin on his face. <laughs> he, he paused the TV show, <laughs> and it's so hard to get him to pause the show. And I got to laughing at his face. I didn't even tell him what it was yet. So I finally told him, yeah, we need to do this massage board. And he goes, he just turned his head. He put the TV back on. I said, what, is it too much work like that? And then he gets up and he has to go to the bathroom. He comes over to the couch and takes his one finger and massages my knee and says, there you go. <laughs> and I said, Oh, I said, I, I'm telling you, y'all had to see his face. It was so funny. It was, it was so funny. God, I told, that's what got me laughing. I said, I, I wish I had my camera on. Because <coughs> I got, you know, I got him to pause the TV. Because normally it's hard to get him to pause the TV. Because he'll say, give me five minutes. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it it was so funny, y'all. I mean, I've had some funny moments. And then something else happened. Yeah, I told y'all about that one about the um. Did I tell you about the uh? What happened to me and Michaela with the um charging box? The no, 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 no. Nope. Not with the battery. Mm -mm. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. But I think Penny was there. I said because Michaela took off and left me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good God. I still pick on her about that. I, I, I have to tell you, look, y'all want to know where I get my sense of humor from? It's from my mother and my grandmother. My grandmother's just as bad. Oh, yeah. I get from my mom and my dad. <laughs> look, and my so she was getting the biopsy done, right? Huh? And where they had to get the bone marrow at is like right above your, it's like close to your butt cheek, but over to the side, go down to the get to the bone marrow. Right, it's like in your hip. Well, the first biopsy they did, yeah, it's it's, it's kind of like almost in your hip. And um, they were take the first bone marrow they took out. She's like, it's a little too, it's dry. There's no bone marrow on it, so they went kind of another one. <laughs> they had to go back in. My mom not, was not happy about it. So the doctor that was doing it, she, you know, got to finally got a bone marrow that had some liquid on it and covered it all up. She goes, well, the good thing is, you know, you didn't bleed at all very, very little. My mom goes, don't tell me that dried up too. God, that would have been killing me. Well, she's got a good sense of <laughs> no, humor. I keep it straight face. <laughs> I'm still debating on whether to upload that video. I'm thinking about chicken nuggets and french fries. What do you mean? <laughs> when I woke <sighs> up from my surgery from my finger, I was sitting there singing about chicken nuggets and french fries, and my heart was in my finger. Oh, my God. you got to <sighs> do that. Yeah, you did tell us about that. I was going chicken nuggets, French fries, chicken nugget, French fries. <laughs> oh, <laughs> recorded my butt. Really, you do. You really do. <laughs> you oh really do. God, I look horrible. <laughs> I look absolutely horrible in that video. Okay, my sister's telling me to tell you. Okay, so we had we had some really good nurses up there. That whole hospital was good to us. They made sure that all of us were comfortable. But her pills, you can't touch with your bare hand. Two of her pills, you can't touch with the bare hands. You have to have gloves. Right. And That's at chemo. I asked, and it's like, yeah, I was like, is it possible we can get a box of gloves to take home so that way we know we have them at home until we have time to get them? Amber goes, well, if, it, if it's empty, you know, they have to replace it. <laughs> I was like, um, I didn't get it at first. She goes, you know, we have people, they take everything. Just whatever you do, don't take the bed. <laughs> Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you mean put that box in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it, but I wanted to go back to the bot the whole biopsy. So me and my sisters were jerking around in chat and we were like, Well, it's like mom has three butt holes now. Well, we said a holes. And my mom goes, Oh my god, if I had three assholes, she goes, I'll end up fucking two of them up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Whatever happy drugs they put. Oh, oh, excuse my mouth, y'all, but I have, it's just, my mom just. Yeah, you have to tell it the way it was told or for it to be funny. Right. And then, like, you know how you have the IV machine that you hooked up to? Yeah, it's like a B. Well, B. B. Well, okay, they wanted to give her a shot to prevent blood clots. And. The poor woman is already on enough medicine as it is. They just did a biopsy on her. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Before you inject her, is it required? What can we do to prevent it? Like, she doesn't need another medication on top of what she's already taken. She's like, well, she has to move around. I said, mom. Well, she's like, well, what's it feel like? She goes, it's like, she said it feels like Drano going. And my mom's like, uh, no. <laughs> I 
I said, so you can, I said, what do you want to do, mom? Do you want to walk or do you want to get the shot? So she decided to walk. Well, she kept hitting her toes on the IV thing, so she named it Buddy. She's like, come on, Buddy, let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, well, look at it like this one. Sunday comes, you can break up with Buddy on Sunday. It was, she was just a hoot the whole time. It was funny. Yeah, and to have a sense of humor like that, you know, that's awesome. You have to, right? You have to because my mom is a very strong person. She's been through a lot her whole life. Right. And I know that she's not going to let this gonna, you know, bring her down or whatever. The she's a strong person. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you, you know, honestly, honestly, you have to have a sense of humor when it comes to sickness because humor actually is a very good healer. And if you have a good disposition mm -hmm. about it and you laugh about it and you, I mean, even if you have to be crass and, and, and vulgar to get through it or whatever it takes for you to personally get through it or whatever, and it makes you feel better, then by all means go for it because it is you going through it nobody else nobody else yeah and then sharon kept messing with the nurses every time they come knocking on the door she goes housekeeping me fluff pillow for you <laughs> oh my god she got my grandmother with that when my grandmother called and she said that my grandmother went quiet like she's like oh my god did i crawl the wrong place she went quiet <laughs> So I was like, uh, Grandma, it's Sharon. She's like, oh, my God. Sorry, no disrespect. She goes, I thought I called. And, uh, she goes, I thought I called someone that was Asian. <laughs> I was like, Grandma. Oh, I would mess with people that yeah. uh, that would call it, say, uh, Joe Full Hall, 8-Ball Speaking. 8-Ball Speaking. <laughs> no. They'll be like, excuse me? Yeah, 8-Ball, what's up? This <laughs> Ru yeah, Ruby. I told you. I told my mom how you called the C, how the CRM called you or CRA, right? And how you called them back. I was like, Mom, you gotta watch the YouTube video. I was like, I told her how the yeah, <laughs> telemarketer called you and you said, and they said it was the F and F company. I was like, Yeah. I was like, My mom said F you. <laughs> She's like, You did. I was like, Yes. <laughs> she did. She did, Mom. She did. Oh my God. She did. You have to just to keep just you know to keep your mind busy so you're not thinking because that's what causes anxiety as you overthink everything. So the best medicine is just try not to focus on it and just think of the positive. You know, like the positive. Last night, last night I bandaged my finger and I'm like, damn, this hole is still here. I mean, it's little, not big like it was, but it's still here. And I'm like, it's been a month, y'all, a month. Oh, it's aggravating as hell. But I then I, I then I just I just I distract my mind from it. I'm just happy to be here. I miss being here. I miss laughing. I miss joking around with everybody. Yeah, I do too. Missed you. We kind of have to watch you you so that YouTube doesn't get the damn panty in a wide. Morning, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. <laughs> Ruby, honey, you have put so much glue. You put it wet and dry up on that sucker. Well, the wet is just because well, you see see the chipboard here. Yeah. And see the space. There's nothing to hold it there, so the glue will. Okay. You know what? I, why I did that now? Yep. Now I see. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Well, it looks like I'm going to be needing another glue stick, and I think my purple one's almost done, so I'll have to grab a new one out of the package down there. She's making it sure it's extra sticky. Well, I don't like to mess around with any of the actual front or back. The pages I'm not so worried about. It's just the front and back covers and the spine, and that, that's got to... Oh, be last night, y'all, I could have torn one of my cats by its toenails. 
I was ready to toss him out the door, but then I realized it wasn't his fault. Michaela goes in, you know, and she checks, she looks at her dress with the beautiful new earrings that maybe Cosden made. And I said, well, make sure none of the cats got in the closet because we got her dresses hanging in our closet. I said, make sure the cats have gotten out of the closet. Well, she said, no. She said, all I saw was uh, Ra and um, Romy. I said, okay. Odin is black. I swear, the only time you can see him in a dark area is eyeball. Okay, he's that he's that black. He's like ebony, dark black. So he was locked up in the closet for six hours, and that cat dug a hole, dug all of the carpet out right there under the doorway. A uh, big chunk of carpet. He dug it out. And Danny, it was like 10 o'clock at night. Danny was like, what in the world? It was him. He was walking for six hours. And I told Michaela, I said, what did you not check? <laughs> Why? Hi, Quilter. Hi, Quilter. Hi, Quilter. Oh, my little hanger thing come in. Oh, it did? Yes, and it's little. Let me give you that much. Oh, but can you show it to us, please? Yes. I'm going to click on you. I want to see it. No, no, wait, don't click on me yet. <laughs> well, I'm on you. She's like, don't click on me. Uh, I am too. Sorry. It's all Angela now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pajama top on. What are y'all talking about? So what? I got my pajamas on. We got snow last night, so it's, I have every excuse to put my jammies on after work. Okay. Hold on. Okay. All the way from her button. Oh, it's perfect for what I want to do with it. Right. And look at. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I got clothes on her. Look at these little bitty baby hangers. Oh, aren't they cute? Aww. And you get. Uh, Great for dog clothes. Morning, Cynthia. You get 10, I think. 10. Hi, Cynthia. So, what I was thinking of doing, Ruby, yes. do you want me to wait till you get yours, or do you want me to work on this? No, you go ahead because I'm, I'm doing Chase's album with that one a month. Because I can only do one side because I'm going to take his, I gave my daughter those things to put, I'm one month old, I'm two months old, blah, 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 and uh, yeah, that, and I'm doing his mini album on that, but I think I'm going to need something a little more heavier than that dowling. Well, dowling is, yeah, I mean, look, if you put a lot of pressure on it, it's going to bend, so... I was wondering how we, uh, I'm asking my husband how I can reinforce it, but we're putting very light paper on it though. You find the same size dolly at the wood store and just replace it. Or the same diameter so it can go in the holes. But see, I plan on painting mine, which will strengthen it. So, because the paint will put a coat on it and it will strengthen it. Plus, I right. put on gluing these in. Right. And everything. So, there's ways you can strengthen it, but it's so cute for the idea I have. It is cute, Angela. Super, super cute. So, that's what I was talking about. Um, so, now that it's in, I'm going to. Um, and y'all can find the link for this particular one if you go on my website at angelholtdesigns.com and then go up to the tab and go to products, you'll see a link to purchase this very same one. But um, yeah, it in. I ordered it. It took about a month. Mm -hmm. About a month. But it, I guess it depends on where you're at from, you know, where you're ordering from, though. Mm -hmm. See... Oh, I don't want to say anything because it's going to give it away. So it probably already did <laughs> by what I said about Chase. 
Well, no. No. I'll probably get in here shortly after you. And just, it's probably going to be a series <laughs> of your albums. It's going to have to be. I can't get what I want. Um, I'm going to take my scary butt off. Go back to Ruby. Um, I can't get done with what I want to do to it in a one setting. Oh, heck no. Right. I thought it was just a cute idea. You know, it's something cute. It's something you can set on your shelf or something. And, you mm -hmm. know. <coughs> oh, sorry, Martha. Hope you feel better. Oh, yeah. When in doubt, just blow it out. Foxy, shut your face. Okay, I'm going to go back over to Ruby. Angela's done. I have <coughs> paper collection to do it in. Bye, Christy. Hi, Christy. Hi, Christy. Cold here. It's a little nippy. It's raining all day here. Oh God! Tomorrow and Thursday and Friday, we're supposed to have nothing but heavy rain. Can you, and we got done having heavy rain. <coughs> My yard looks like a a forest because it has purple flowers with little wild purple flowers and little wild uh, yellow flowers and clover and dried dead tr tree and everything else hi tracy hi tracy hi tracy Hello, Tracy. He says the glue helps soften the fibers on the seams at the folds and helps not to crack right yeah. <coughs> yeah, it sure does. So that is our front of our album. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's gonna make a gorgeous purse. A gorgeous purse. Yes. Okay. I think so. this is gonna be your best one yet. <laughs> you think so, girl? Yeah. It's simple. It's very, I'm making it very simple. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a lie. Just wait till what she puts in that sucker. She can put pockets, like a purse. Uh-huh. Uh, it's, oh, it's easy peasies. It's you know, you, sure can turn, you, know, you can turn it into a shadow box and then create a mini to go inside the shadow box, like compartments. Right. But it's going to be an actual purse itself. Right. Right. That you just set an album in, or is it, or is the? No, I'm. I'll show you in one sec. Give me a sec, girl. Okay. I'll show you. I'll just be showing you. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes on your flies. Did you see the archi archival ink called Potted Soil? I want it. I need to find it. <laughs> nope. I nope. did not. Yeah. Is it brown? It's called Potted Soil. Right. Is it brown? Well, yeah, yeah. It would be soil's brown, sure. It's, it's it's just a little bit darker than the uh, coffee one. Cause I got a brown one I don't use, brand new. I just have to see what color it is. Would it's, you like my address? It's my state. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, seriously, I don't use it. It's, it's my stay zone. I don't know what color it is called. I just said I need a brown. I'm using Martha, the honey, coffee, you look tired. archival ink and coffee because it really matches this collection very well. I do feel kind of tired. 
It's your allergies. It, it, it whacked me out yesterday. I sneezed and sneezed and sneezed. And it wasn't just like a nor like a, a cold sneeze. If they were Morning, Cheryl. hard sneeze. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Hang on, y'all. Bless you. Zoom tight. I just jinxed myself. <laughs> Damn. Foxy, shut your face. Foxy's in trouble. She about to get put in doggy jail. L.L. Fox. She said, Poor little She's just Foxy. She's at me. Foxy. How cute is that? Ooh, I love that cover. Hold on, it's cover. Beautiful. Ooh, so well, I feel like she got a wholesale account with Stamperia because I'll be ordering from her now. Yes, she will because I did get one. Because I that stuff right there is hard to find and it's expensive. Okay, that's the top. So when this comes over, we want it to be that way. So we're going to put it that way. Where did I do that? Oh, it's right here. Duh. Good. As soon as it gets warm up, Ruby, I'm sending you something, but uh, I laminated your want it poster for your door. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, okay, thanks. Wait, 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 wait. That will be the best You're happy welcome. man ever. <laughs> What wanted, what wanted poster? <sighs> Angela doesn't know what um, you guys did. Really? What? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is, that, that the thing with the what? Is that the thing with the FBI? Yeah. yeah the CBI. Yeah. The C CBI. CBI, or whatever it is. <laughs> Damn FBI going to come <laughs> And Nikki was putting the poster, the wanted poster together. She's like, what do I put? She's like, what do I put for height? I said, well, Ruby Short, put Hobbit. Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> and they did. <laughs> and they did, guys. They did. Don't, they? <laughs> Don't you even worry. They did. I never laughed I got tears so eyes. hard. <laughs> that was funny as right. What if I think Dallas is in her party? <laughs> oh, she snorted. <laughs> oh, Angela, you have to read every detail of that poster. You're going to die. Oh, shit. Oh, we're so <laughs> like it says, like um, any like uh, um, like tattoos or any kind of marks to say that it's her. We put burns from the hot glue gun. <laughs> being stained by archival inks. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, they really picked on me. Oh God, I can just imagine what my whatever is like. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sorry, but my favorite part was height. <laughs> yes, 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 Hobbit. <laughs> All right. I originally I would have put minion, but that wasn't funny. I was like, Hobbit sounds better. <laughs> I just got it. There's no telling what you put to my height. So jolly green giant. <laughs> Shit. Why is that be Sasquatch? Yeah, Sasquatch. Mm, I should go. Mm. <sighs> yeah, cool. It was so funny. Uh, this We went to Michaela. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, Ruby, when they say that pe when you're when people pick on you like that, that just means they love you. Oh, yeah. oh I know. I know. Well, if that's <laughs> it, my haters really love me. I am <laughs> not afraid. 
Oh yeah, Angela, you are so loved, right? I know. It's all my haters. Well, they love my hands. Woo. They if they take the time to comment, they love you. Yep. That's okay. That's why you got love for all your haters. That's how you gotta look at it. Yeah. That's the way I look at it now. I really don't care what people say. <laughs> I really don't. There is nothing else. But no, seriously, that's true. That like where we joke around with each other it just means that we are comfortable with oh each other. We could joke around like that because we aren't. I would be. I don't we know. Aren't to the Debbie I don't know if I was embarrassed or what, but when me and Ruby we, and her husband would get to play in that game that we were hooked on, which we need to get that hooked on. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, you should hear the conversations we have. <laughs> Angela, you're, we, you're giving away my like secret. We, I'm a good girl, right, I'm Angela. For Jeff. <laughs> Angela, I'm a good girl. Hello. In your dreams. <laughs> I'm a good girl. Yeah. I'm calling BS on that. <laughs> okay. I got, a, I got a rep to protect. No, 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 no. I'm the same way, Ruby. I'm, I'm calling myself out. Imagine three people in a vehicle with road rage yeah that would be me oh god three not one not get out two. of my effing way i'm gonna turn island at you see, it, this is the way it seems when jeff gets the plan he's like in the back seat right and me and ruby are in the front seat we are we're the ones doing all the talking and stuff it's almost like we got to throw something at jeff and say did you see that you know or did you <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. We're like, wake up over there. And normally he's snoring. So, well, he's yeah. already sitting. Is this a Are you talking about a video game? No, Town of Salem game that we used to play. I haven't played it for a while. Yeah, as I miss playing it with uh, Ruby. Jeff, Jeff's got me playing this game called Ghost Recon. This is the first person shooter game. Anyway, right now <gasps> we're at a spot in the in it. We're, we're killing a predator. And Jeff said, did you ever see the movie Predator? I said, no. Oh, my God. I love those movies. Yeah. Well, I didn't see Predator, so I had no idea what the hell I was looking for to shoot. Oh, my God. Look at this tall thing. When he opens his face, all these things come out. Look at my album, yes. how it's going to open. Hey, Ruby, yeah. the next time you're playing with him and you got to shoot the Predator... Yeah. In the game, act like you're going to drop your gun. Say, I'm just going to get my iron. <laughs> <laughs> so, Angela, this. Like, what the hell is wrong with okay, now this is how you do your vellum. Yes, this is how I did the vellum this time because I got. Uh, I'm doing tunnel pages here. So, I am not going to attach my pages until they are done. And see, they're tunnels and they go over on top of this. Ooh. And then they'll lock in place. And then are you going to leave the other side open for pocket? Yes, I'm going to make mats to put in there. So basically, that's how this album's going to be. So, so that, those so. could hold eight by ten photos, really, or five by sevens. Oh, yeah, this could hold big. Like, I'm, that's why I said I'm making it simple. I am not going to go overboard. I promise. I'm not. So it could question how when you did the tunnel pages did you ask did you add like little tabs on it so they join together yes i showed in the video yesterday okay, how i, I done that part. yeah okay. yeah i I'll took i made instead of because there's six pages right and seven pieces mm -hmm. of vellum because i got two other pieces of vellum i have to put one on each side to protect this page and the front cover and the page beside it but the tunnels i cut 12 pieces of uh, this was seven and a half. It's seven and a half by ten. And then I scored it in half on every sheet and I just joined them together there in the tunnel. So that's be. that's gonna just join on here. It's gonna it's actually awesome. a nice. Yeah. Yeah, and then you make nice pockets and you can stick envelopes in them. Um and whatever. Birth Mats. certificates, you can stick all kinds of them into it. Well, yeah, and that's another thing. If you if you this is books about a kid growing up, you might want to put some of his first year schoolwork in here, whatever. You know, it's up it's up to you how you right. want to make yours. 
So, so you got the front and back, and then you got the opening that you can use for a pocket. Gotcha. Right. And this will that's stand awesome. up like this, and I've got a chain that's going to go here as the purse. And I got magnets that's going to close here in the front. And I'm just going to camouflage them um, right here because I didn't put them underneath this because it doesn't seal. Uh -huh. Anyway, I still have the spines to do. Look at how pretty that looks. Gorgeous. I still have pretty, the, pretty, pretty. the spines pretty, pretty. to do. Make him one uh, looking like a diaper bag. bag. What? Make him one look like a diaper bag. And then put yeah, it you could. But yeah. I'm thinking because I made this so big that I might even put, um, you know, I'm still going to decorate all the lid. I'm going, I think I'm going to put a nice size pocket here and actually make it go this way. So when the magnet close, I can camouflage the magnets underneath the pocket, a roll of magnets. Ruby, I just had the most awesomest idea. What? No shit. I'm serious. <coughs> You need to put a leather handle and you need to put strap. Strap? You know how some purses have the faux straps around the front, maybe? Make oh, them. you mean like a buckle and stuff? I don't have yes. that. Yes, with the with the matching handle. You can get I that. Might put, I might put something here. Yeah. I would go look. <coughs> but, but I don't have leather. But you can make faux leather, though. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what I want to do. Just to see how the book develops before you, I would say, before you've done the outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But okay. now I just, I really need to, I really need to decide. See, no bubbles, nothing. This is so smooth if you use score tape like I just did. Oh, like yeah. you, don't have to, you don't have to use score tape like that on every page. Just on this one I did. Just on the covers, you want to go crazy lazy. Now, I need to find what I'm going to put on all of these here to hide those. And I don't know, maybe I might just put lace. Um, hmm. Maybe I will because paper just crinkles up here. Let me think. I should put a really pretty lace. On, on all of this. That's what I should do. Then I could save on some paper. Okay, so let me go grab some lace and I'll be right back. Angela, take the floor. Okay, let's sit. Ow! <laughs> Ow! I found some vintage lace yesterday. You had what? I found, I found lint uh, lintage. Lintage. I was trying to say lace and vintage. Some uh, vintage lace yesterday at my quarter store. Cool. Like I need any more, but I, I I bought it. No matter what. I'll probably send it to Nikki. Hold y'all. She needs it. I want to get her in my craft room and paint this thing white. But it's cool. I got to get up. I got to get up and go in there. You can do it. All right. I'm going to click off here and put my butt in my craft room. So, can you hold See, the you can do it. Oh, yeah. Right. I'll hold the floor. I got this. I got okay, it. Okay. Tell Ruby what I'm and doing. This is here, too. Okay. Well, tell Ruby All what right. I'm doing. Bye. Ruby, she'll be right back, Ruby. I said lintage. I knew. I said lintage, right? Lintage. LOL. Combine words. Lace and vintage. <laughs> and then also, um, it's supposed to be vintage, not vintages. Then I also, what else I got at the quarter store yesterday? I went there looking to see if they had a used oxygen machine that I could get from my mom. <clears throat> Is they had this, you know how they had like the little file cabinets for the index cards? They had the big boxes there, the big types that's got the moths on them. <laughs> and then they have a um, other tab one that says subject and occasion tabs that you would put in here too. 
But then they have a whole bunch of the, they got the alphabet index cards that look like file folders, two sets, and then plain ones. And I got the whole thing for a quarter. So I'm going to send some to Nikki and Chris do because you can use these little vintage uh, Rolodex cards to make like um little, what, like postcards with them or even tags with a little tab on it that you could put in a junk journal or whatever. I was like, those are cool. But I only paid a quarter for it. I got that. And then what else I got was it is a 19. Uh, it's actually signed by the author, it looks like. I only paid a quarter for it. It's a 1970 book that says Making Gifts from Oddments and Outdoor Material. Uh, she's doing better. Um, but it shows you how you make different, uh, it's basically like a craft book and <clears throat> making like floor arrangements and stuff for your house, but using stuff that's outside. I was like, Oh, that's cool. And then some of these photos, um, Oh, it shows you how to make fresh flowers and corsages from, was it coast nuttings? What the heck is coast nuttings? Nothing. Oh no. What the hell is that? But it shows you how to make leaves with them and flowers. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I didn't get it for that, but I'm gonna take it out and probably use it in a junk journal. It shows you how to do different things. Um, oh, Coulter says she feels oh, bad for you. She's I've... just recovering from Okay, Ruby, Angela says she'll be right back. She's moving to her craft room. She told me to tell you. Okay. So I was keeping them entertained, reading about what I found at the quarter store. Oh. So I'm going to use this. I like this. Oh, I love this side. Look at how pretty. Oh, those are cool. Thanks, Quilter. Huh. I was trying to say vintage lace, Ruby, and I said lintage. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> it's combining words. Yeah. There's some really cool stuff in this book here. Okay. Like, it's got out. I got a goose egg here that my mom law gave me. And I might do what it says to do in here. It says to use fingernail polish to color it and then jewel it. I might have to do it. Hmm. There you go. I don't know where my magnets went to. Uh. Okay. So that's where I want to put the magnets for closure. Oh, wait. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. Do not feel bad. Cut the book up and use it. <sighs> and I also found a book, a bulbs. It's flowers that are bulbs. And I did get it to plant them. I got it to cut the flowers out of it. <laughs> The pictures. Ooh. You know, when she said quarter stores, I thought she said hoarder stores. <laughs> now, I, look, I have a thrift store by me. I, I am not joking. It's a secondhand store, and everything in the store is a quarter a piece. Damn, that'd Nothing be fun. Is more than the other. Wow, quarter. Yep, everything's a quarter. And the last time we were there, they had an oxygen machine. But I guess they, I guess they've already sold. But my mom's renting one right now, and I figure, you know what, might as well just buy one, save for the money, and having to rent it. So, right. It would have only cost me a quarter. So I have them keep an eye out next time one comes in to hold it for me. I'm back. Welcome back, Beck. 
Vitamin C, yeah, that's what I need. Okay, so and there you go. That's where those have to go. I got some orange juice in there in the freezer. Right. <sighs> okay, so we've got our glue gun. I'm going to put that there because I like to just drop my glue gun when gluing. All right, so I think I'm going to use score tape first because that will help me to get a straight, straight line where I actually want, whoops, want my lace to go. Right even with that there. How about the um, new, what is it, the high temperature glue gun that actually stands up right? Right, right. I bought one for Nikki at, uh, what was it, AC Moore. I used a coupon. It was 55% off, and I, paid, I think I paid $5.85 for it. There you go. Wow. Yep. No arguments there. Nikki sent me. Yeah, Nikki Nikki's got a big heart. She sent me a lot of stuff, so I got a package that I'm getting gathered to send to her. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Milk. So, you all get what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to camouflage these pieces that are showing the corners when you open the yes, book. I, am. I, am. I don't like it. So, I don't like the not showing at all. <laughs> Way to go, Johanna. Oh, happy mail to my I'm going to be making wallets. Can't wait. Penny isn't here, is she? I hope not. No, she had to go to doctors. She wasn't here a little bit ago, but she yeah, wasn't that talking. Yeah, what? she just talked until she had to go. Huh? I plan on making wallets and I'm going to be sending one to Penny. You're making what? Wallets. Try oh, wallets. Right. Yep. I'm going to make Aww. her a tax skeleton one because she's like into the goth stuff like that. Yes, she is. Duct tape. No, no, it's going to be fabric. I oh. can make duct tape wallets. But it's going to be fabric and it's going to be washable. Mm. I'm making Mary a butterfly one. And yeah. It just needs to get warm enough so I can stand by my, by my machines to make them. Oh, shoot. I also have wallets that can hold your cell phone. Nice. All right. Let's get it. I'm getting this all messed up here. So I need to move this. I'm going to end up creasing that vellum. And then I'm going to smack a hole. Okay. Got yeah, that's how you spell it, Johanna. All right. So I need my little picky dick. <laughs> um so let's peel off one little side. Good question, KK. So, I think I'm going to use fabric glue. Yes, fabric tack. Since it's fabric tack glue, and I'm going to use it on top of the score tape. Not a lot. It'd help if I could do that. There we go. Okay. 
Now, this is basically, basically, oh, it's got to go. Oh, you don't need to waste that much stuff. So, so now I need to fold this and make sure it gets even. Then, I think that's even. All right. So I'm bring this one up now. Put some fabric glue underneath this. Johanna said that looks lovely, Ruby. Thanks, Johanna. And then open it like so, and fold it over. So when the page opens, it's going to look like that. Yes. And that's how it's got to go. Okay. <coughs> Perfect. Oh, that's pretty. All right. So that's what I my goal was. And then that's going to fold over. And we're going to trim you off. And we could trim this one off because it's way too big. All right. Now, let's glue gun this. Okay, hey, that's a tiger. That ain't a lion. That's what it came up as. Hi, Mary. Whoa. Hi, Mary. Tell us about the package, Mary. Hurry up. Hurry up. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. We're all dying to know. And did you contact the post offices? Mm, I contacted my. Gosh. Hi, Ruby. What? <gasps> oh, that wasn't good. What did you do? I spilled a bunch of metal pieces. Oh, not good, Angela. Oh, you're fired. Dang it, look. What for you do that? All right, why don't we just do something? Don't you think about it, Furball. Uh oh. Want treat, treat? Treat, treat. They can't do anything because it was received without contents. Oh, excuse my language, but no. Uh. Like well, the contents were there. So yeah. took the contents. That's the whole point of having insurance. That's so well, who re who received it about the contents? It's got to be between there and the uh, one before that. They could find it. They could trace it. So you're telling me that someone in the U.S. Postal Service gets to keep all that stuff for free? Because I'm pretty sure they're not going to send that to a dump or shred it. Most things like that, they go into a, if I'm used to be, it goes into a lost and found there should be a place where you could Google lost and found U.S. Post Office. Right. Maybe you could find it in there. But how stupid of the post office to send... He says, the only claim they really? said I have is with Canada and show them the plastic. UPS said it was received in my zip code. Oh, shit. Someone's at my door. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. Packages. Hey. Packages at the mail. You know, Maybe I bought a bottle of uh, a, a jar of Distress Micro Glaze. Yeah. I, I bought it because it was on sale. It's Tim Holtz. I need to, like, use it, see if I like it. 
I thought it was the three D glaze. That's what I was. That's what I was wanting to order. It's okay. I'll still use it. I'm going to be playing vintage photo. Um. Oh boy. I wish I had some of the micro beads. Micro. Here, I'll use my little shaker that I made for my little mat for now. I need that. That sounds probably about right, Debbie. Not necessarily the contents. I'm so over this cold weather. Right, well, Everyone's free. It's good afternoon. Sorry. Oh, God. <sighs> I hope it ain't what I think. Oh, please, no, because that'll ruin all of it. What are you doing here? Makes my water alarm. And gluing. Oh my god. I need to message Nikki. Yeah, Mary, you can always order it over again. Too bad that she couldn't just order it and have it mailed right straight to you. No, they can't do that when she's ordering from Notions. Right. Hi, last. It still works, right? <gasps> Hi, Toby. How are you, Toby? Damn it. Oh it wasn't for me. It was for my daughter. Bummer. <laughs> Y'all waited for that for nothing. Well, it wasn't for nothing. You know, you know. Oh, muffin. Oh, girl. Hey, you could dye lace with uh, Tim Holtz Eves, right? Yep, I need to use some of this ink that I'm using. There we Let go. Let's soak it up a little bit. So that will get hidden underneath the actual paper I put on this. So look at that. Look how pretty. Oops, and actually, that um, lace looks very good with that. Yes, it does. It matches well. Very well. Uh, and it hides it really nice. Perfect. It's so perfect, Martha. It's so perfect. All right. Shoot the phone. Honey, Honey how's keeping me fluff pillow for you, Fidella? <laughs> fluff pillow for you. <laughs> You, you fluff my pillow. <laughs> Housekeeping me fluff pillow for Della. Right. I need the front. And I need the so we want a little extra over the edge. And I'm actually going to scan this into my scan and cut. Ruby, you'll have to give me your email address. I'll have to send it to you. What? It's a little, it's a little file folder. You know the little index card boxes that you get and has like the little <laughs> index folders. Right. My email. Is, my email is Rainella sixty one at gmail dot com. Rainella. 
A rain Ella. 61. Rain Ella. Yep. Rain Ella. Six G at sixty one at gmail dot com. Johanna's already Where's Tia? Where's Tia? Oh, she's right here sleeping in her bed. I don't want Let her to, sleep. Let her sleep. I don't want to disturb her just yet. See you, Cam. She needs her own she needs her own YouTube channel. She does a Tia channel, right? Oh my goodness, I love oh, this yeah, lace. I really love this lace. I really do. Isn't it like the uh, like crochet lace? It looks like crocheted lace. Hi. Hi. Is she muted? Wait, Ruby, why are you muted? Hell if I know. Who did Oopsies. that? Not I was me. muted. Did you get to hear what I said about my email? No. Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah. <laughs> she heard the email, like Raynella, but what were you, you were saying? I really love this lace. And then she asked, is that the crochet lace? Oh, and I was saying, yeah, it is. It's, it's the cotton crochet cotton lace. It's so pretty. Isn't that stuff pretty? Yeah, and it's from eBay, and I bought this, I don't know, quite a few months ago. And it was super, super cheap. Like, super cheap. I mean, you got to wait for it to come from China, but I was in absolutely no hurry for it because um, I didn't have anything, any project in mind with it. Tracy just, said, you using the pen, Ruby? And okay. what pen would that be? What? Tracy says, are you using a pen, Ruby? Oh, your pen? Yes. I do use it. Absolutely. Awesome sauce. Oh, what? What? Okay. Sure am, Trace. Hey, Ruby, are you going to do um, Disorganized Crafters uh, Challenge tag? No, I don't want to take any craft supplies away from people that could win that. I don't want to do that. I would well, love to, should, but... Uh, maybe no. just make it and just say, don't enter me. Oh. Right. Well, I she could do that. Right? Yeah. Or, just, or you do it, and then you just donate it to someone else. No, because then it, I, it's hard to do that, because then people think I'm doing favoritism. <laughs> right? Wow. right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, because yeah, I, I wouldn't know what you mean. I got to. Yeah, I wouldn't I know who to give it to, so because everybody needs it. So I'm best to just stay neutral. I've never done a Amen. tag challenge. You should just do it and just not even just say, don't enter me. Right. Okay. We'll see on that. We'll just see on that. Why not? Or unless she's saying she wants a tag from you, so make it. <laughs> Is that what they're saying, eh? That's what I'm figuring. Mary says, we all know I'm her favorite. Yep, and I'd probably end up giving it to Mary. <laughs> Jeez, it makes us feel stupid. See? See? Unwanted. See? See what Don't you call it, KK? Listen to Martha. Boo-hoo. She's already boo-hooing. Oh, my scissors are kind of wanting to stick to the magnets. That's silly. I love that. Wow. Look at how pretty. Why am I so far away? Like, I'm sitting in the middle of my desk. Like, I don't Sit get Sit back in your chair. I know you're sitting on the edge of it. Sit back in your chair. I am. 
I am. I just actually sat back because I am sitting on the edge of it like I always do. Okay. And I got glue from here to Kingdom here. Come. All right, so there's Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. on earth as it is in heaven. These are pretty. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. You need to go over there to drink. And so I called my bestie in the hospital yesterday oh. after the show. And oh, and how is she? Well, all right so far. She was running out of breath just talking to me. So I didn't stay with her too long. But oh, she does have emphysema, and they says that most likely she's got uh, water on the heart. Or what do they call that? Um, congestive heart failure. Mm-hmm. Bad. Uh, I'll be praying for her, Martha. Prayers yep. are needed, yes, please, and thank you. Yep. I hate to hear that. Tracy says, love it, Ruby. It's stonking. <laughs> oh, thanks. 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 Mm. Well, it doesn't seem like it's not straight. That Kathleen just... hasn't been here because they've been renovating their house. My goodness, does that woman ever stop? She's you on the come go do constantly. Mine? She is so busy all the time. You come renovate my house, I'll come fluff your pillows for you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Me love you long time. Me fluff on long time. Me love you. Housekeeping, me fluff your pillow five dollar. <laughs> Renovating can be fun, but it can be so draining. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is very draining. Rod got heart failure. Fossilized yeah. amber. Oh, I actually have that. Sorry, I'm talking Rod, to myself. Tracy. Her husband. Okay. Uh, I got some. I got some of my very first uh, rain, uh, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide ink pads. I'm like behind. You're behind time, eh? I'm behind getting them. You know where you got that lace from, Ruby? No, I could go back and look in my history of eBay and link it if I could find it still. Sometimes they're when they're out of stock, you lose that that listing. It just shows a mm -hmm. picture. Yeah. Oh, so she got it somewhere on eBay. Yeah. I actually have the um I have a book that where you can make that. Whoever crochets. Oh, who the heck wants to crochet lace? That is so tedious. Oh, you see that made. woman that uses all them needles and stuff and all them bobbins and she's sitting there making that lace? Oh, oh that's beautiful. Yes. That's called that, that would be good quality. I'll say, Angela. That would be, that would be quali that quality lace. Yeah, that's called tatting. Tatting lace. Oh. Uh, I've watched her too, Martha. I like it. Yeah, it's Kinda pretty. Relaxing. I've tatted. But it's... See, I, I would what she's doing, doing I don't way. think, is tatting. What you did is tatting, but what she's doing, I don't think, is tatting. Not with all those bobbins, no. No, it's not tatting. Tatting, no. Whatever that word is. <laughs> Okay, so now let's check it out and see. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. I just want to stick you right there so I can put the magnets down. And they don't stick all that much like crazy. Oh my goodness, that looks so beautiful. You guys like? I like. Like. 
<laughs> Love it. Oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> I think that could be. I am making pizza for supper. Who made pizza? Mm, yummy. White sauce or? No. Yeah. Red sauce, girl. Red sauce it. Ugh, I can't have it. Why? You have ulcers. That's why. No, I don't have ulcers, but it irritates because I have that hyanal hernia. Oh, the so hiatus. They say to stay away from... Yeah, so they say Spicy to stay food. away from stuff that will trigger it. Yes, spicy yep. food. But aioli sauce, you ain't, you have to try aioli sauce with. No, oh, I don't like those it. white sauces. I just can't get into them. Like, you what? know what they use for uh, Alfredo? Barf. Oh, I love Alfredo sauce. Alfredo. Oh, God. Me too. Can't do it. Just can't <laughs> do it, guys. One can't. of these days, God dang it, I'm going to go to Olive Garden. Oh. They got some new lunch specials for like six ninety nine now. So this Fabri-Tac, I think, is going to hold this lace down really well, to be honest with you. Better than actual glue. It's meant for fabric. Mm-hmm. And look at mm -hmm, it's perfect. I love this. I think I'm going to do some of this lace inside the book. So I'm going to leave this lace out because it is perfect. So perfect. And it's so pretty. Maybe I should make my handle with this. Wrap my handle. No. Yeah, that was, it would go Maybe good. Maybe I will do a handle like that instead of a chain one. Chain might break. Yeah, do a um, use the lace to make the handle. That's a good idea, Angela. It's so good. It's so perfect. What are you doing, anyways? What are you working on, girl? I'm painting this little wood thing white. What do you? Oh, it's not painted white. No, uh -uh. no, it's just wood color. Ah, no wood. Unfinished. Unfinished. Hmm. I am loving my album already. Crazy. Look, Ruby's got a few videos if she didn't delete them of her tatting. And it's simple. It's easy to do. Yes. I teach you how to do it. It's on my beating channel. Shuttle. Let me go and see what that type of. Uh, it could be shuttle. Is. No, I won't do shuttle. Tag. I tried it. It's hard. It's hard to get coordinated with shuttle chat chatting. The needle is so easy, and I show you very easily how to use needles to do needle tatting. Yeah, that's what it is that lady did was subtle. Okay. I was wrong. What I was talking about, the bob using the bobbins is called pillow lace. It's a method of making lace with keeping the threads held by bobbins. There we go. There you go. I love cross stitch. Oh, I love yeah, I've love done lots of that. I read a cross stitch on, uh, on it was on some kind of funny thing on Instagram, and the lady had cross stitched and said, "Don't mess with me because I can patiently stab. I'm used to patiently stabbing a thousand times." <laughs> oh, I shared that one. Something like that. I read it somewhere. Funny. Yep. Yeah. Oh, what? God, leave me the hell alone. Answered housekeeping me fluff pillow fly bella. <laughs> I made my uh, mother in law a uh, crochet bag. Yeah. That holds, her, that holds her crochet hooks. Like it has right. slots to hold her crochet hooks. Right. And bordered on the front, it says, I'm a happy hooker. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> my husband's like, my mom ain't going to want that. And I was like, yeah, she will watch. <laughs> 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 All right, so now I need to decide. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but anyway. So you I... can really tell what you think about her on a nicer level. <laughs> How cute of that album is that going to be? Big? That's going to be cute. Cute. Yes. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, I'm a fan. <laughs> oh my man, the man. That's gonna look so good on my mantle. Is it? Yep. Oh, that's wonderful. It'll bring the colors out in the room. So, if I'm going to put a handle on it, where would I put the handle? So, if I used this, fold it in half. We could have this for a handle, to be honest with you. We could. We really could. What do you guys think? Yes? No? This for a handle? Yes. Yeah, but... Yes. Hang on. But not tightly. I wouldn't fold it unless you're going to double it up. Oh, you mean leave it whole like that? I can't. Yeah, it seems like she needs something inside of it. Yeah, like well, a I'll wrap it around a piece of cardstock. You said something about a chain. Is there a way that you could weave your chain in and out of it? Um, where did I put that chain? Gosh, God help me. What did I do with that? Oh my God, what did I do with it? Oh, uh, forget it. I'm just going to use paper. And I'm going to wrap this around paper. It's a piece of and felt. Felt? Yeah, instead of paper. What do you mean a piece of felt? I thought you were Okay, I would say use a piece of felt, put it inside the ribbon, glue it, put the felt, glue the edges of the felt ribbon around the felt, Make okay. the handle. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's get this cut straight. Let me decide what I want to do. I really think this would be pretty. Gotta go that way. If I just folded it over. And something like that because I really think that is beautiful. Uh -huh. That way it won't get all crushed it really easily. What if you did try what Angela said? Cut a piece of out that's the same width as the center. Yeah. Lap the belt, the one side of the lace on the top of the belt, and then the other side of the lace on the other side so that we still get that flower pattern going all the way down the arm on both sides so we need it about this long i don't want a super long arm but i am going to incorporate this inside the album because i think it's going to look stunning all right i'll get some felt oh, mary seriously? says or use chipboard wet it for the curve and then put the lace around it no i could use chipboard and i could use paper and I could use felt. I'm just worried. I'm back, I, ladies. I gotta run to the ladies' room. I need beige colored felt. Yeah, because beige felt is more flexible. And Jeff bought me all that beige stuff by accident. Yeah, felt will work. Just double the felt over. And get a little bit extra support. She could always maybe glue the chain on top if she ever finds it. So, the felt is not long enough. So, I'm not going to join it in the middle. I will join it here. So, 
let me see how thick of a piece I need. Okay, so I need it about, let's line it up here. So if I folded it over on those, like this, like this. All right, mm -hmm. that width, and where's my pen, pencil, something, anything. Take your out and go a long way with it. Okay, so I need, I need glasses. Jeez. I would need to make it this big. So I need to cut two pieces of felt. Hi, Ayn. It's been snowing there for three hours. Yeah, we just got snow overnight. You keep and your snow behind. Hello. You know I like to share. Now, I am so done with winter. I want spring. Spring needs to be here. All right. So. Um, what? Oh, you leave me alone. Two pieces. Housekeeping me for Pelusadella. I want that to dry like that. All right. Two pieces should be there. Put that up there. For there, me. volume off. Leave me alone. I did, Mary. I turned it off. Come drive for whatever, something like Uber. It's like, um, I need something underneath this so it doesn't leak through. Um, My chat is nearly gone all up to the top of the page. Maybe refresh, Johanna. Okay, so let's start there. I'm using Fabri-Tac. Oh. Because that way I can move this around if I have to. Right? Like that. I need to. <laughs> Mary. <laughs> I was keeping me fluff pillow for you, Fadella. You know, I don't I feel like you are straight there. Because you are not straight. I maybe even double the felt up. No mm -hmm. Uber today. Right on. Right, driving for that stuff. My friend drove for a while and he finally went and bought a gun. He wasn't going to drive without it again. No deed, a bastard. Who did? My friend. He died last year. Oh, the one your neighbor? No. Okay. Everybody thought he was my son. <laughs> he was older than me. <laughs> what? Wow. Okay. Okay. So, I don't think I'm going to double that because I really don't think it's going to need it once I hit it with the glue gun. Mm -hmm. But I do need it to stay on there because I just don't trust it getting on my table. So 
So we could glue it down like that. Mm -hmm. oh, anything. Okay, Johanna. All right, I'm going to do it. I like it. Hot and hot and hot. Ah. Okay, are you painting the bubble wrap and then like stamping it down on it? Sounds like kind of a cute idea to me. All right, next. Hi, Barbara. There we go. So pretty. Oh, yay, Johanna. Ow. Ow. That hurt it. Didn't miss nothing. <laughs> Except nothing. Didn't miss nothing. Quit gluing yourself, woman. I keep touching it because lace is holy. <laughs> well, you, just, oh, you are using your spatula. <laughs> yeah, but I'm kind of trying to half-ass do it. Okay. Ruby, that's yeah. hot. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We fix it, you boo-boo, five dollars. <laughs> right? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, guys. Anybody want instant burns? No, thank you. I'm going to tell you guys a story what happened when my youngest daughter was little. Um, my other sister who worked for Canada Post as well, my younger sister, um, she has a daughter and every summer she basically stayed with me because when I got home from work, I was home way earlier than my sister and there was no one to watch her daughter. So she spent the summers at my house and my youngest daughter, Cassie at the time, they were like really young, like eight seven eight years old just right mischievous little girls that got into everything believe me everything so one day they decided they were going to play because it was pouring rain outside and they couldn't go in our swimming pool we had in the backyard so they were going to swim in the basement what but these two little girls did while i was upstairs what? it was fun swimming in the basement because they couldn't swim outside it was pouring rain okay so i knew nothing of what those two did i went downstairs the next day and i'm wondering why is all the laundry and all my boxes on the shelf wet what the hell happened down here i thought the basement flooded it did because you know what these two girls did they filled up a green garbage bag and went swimming in that green garbage bag and let the bags go in the basement. Oh. My laundry room. Oopsies. Oh, yeah. And then the two of them decided to be smarty pants and use my video recorder. And at the time, it was, you know, the big uh, VHS recorder. They were recording each other. Well, I happened to get my hands on the video recorder, not realizing they were playing around with the video recorder outside. There's my daughter pulling down her pants and mooning the neighbor and going, Ron, kiss this. And it's oh, like, my God. <laughs> There's my seven, eight-year-old daughter on video going, Ron, kiss this. And she she pulls down her pants. Please say you still have that. <laughs> I don't know. They erased it. 
So, uh, yeah, and then, <laughs> and then actually the worst of it all was um, I had a glue gun and it was not one of these low temp glue guns. It was a hot glue gun. Yeah, the lava guns, the ones by. Yeah, back in the day, there were the big guns. Yeah, the, I call it lava guns because they can burn fourth degree burn. Well, I was crafting upstairs doing something. I don't know what I was doing. They were downstairs in my daughter's room, and, and Cassie came upstairs and said that Michelle or Chantel burnt her finger with the glue gun. I was like, what the hell are you guys doing with the glue gun? So I took the glue gun away from them, put it up in my closet up on the very top shelf, and I went back to doing what I was doing. Um, it was quarter to, to 12 at night. And they were still farting around downstairs playing. I thought they were crafting. It was summer. You know, they didn't have to go to bed early. All of a sudden, my youngest daughter was screaming hysterically, like literally hysterical. I ran downstairs. I'm like, what the hell? She had melted hot glue all across her fingers here oh. and her hand and all on top. Well, that instantly blistered, instantly blistered. I started freaking because I was like, where in hell did you get this glue gun? And Cassie's like, Chantel stood on a chair and got it out of your closet. I was like, you, and I started screaming at her. And Cassie's like, please, mommy, I don't want to go to the hospital. And I couldn't take her to the hospital because that was making her more, have more anxiety. So I, I went and got my first aid kit and I put that first degree burn stuff all over her her palm of her hands. I wrapped all her fingers up. I'm telling you, I, it was sickening what I saw. It was so, so sickening. So I sat with her till two in the morning, just hugging her and trying to get her to, you know, cause she was crying a lot and I, I wanted to take her to the I, hospital. I like hell too. Oh, the pain of just, can you imagine burning across all your fingers right into your palm? Okay. Well, anyways, she didn't go to school for a couple of days. I kept her home because you know, I didn't want her to get it infected or anything like that. And then my sister showed up at midnight and started yelling because I yelled at Chantel. And next thing you know, the two of us got into a scrap and I was like, just get out of my house. My daughter's got burns on her and your daughter didn't want to listen and went and got the glue gun. So this is, was the result of her negligence, not my daughter's. But I mean, the both of them were to blame. So anyway, she went to school after the second day. And I got this call from Children's Aid Society. I'm like, uh, yeah. She said, we just had a chat with your daughter at school. The school had called us and told her that, uh, told us that you had burned your daughter's hands on the stove. <gasps> I was like, excuse me? I burnt my daughter's hands on the stove? She goes, well, apparently the principal was told that by other children. And we had to come down and visit with your daughter. Like they did all of this in that morning behind my back. I had no idea of any of this. So um, she said to me, she goes, we are closing the case because we did take your daughter and talk to her. And I'm quite satisfied with what she had told us what really happened. And she, she said that it's their job. They have to investigate it. When a school calls the Children's Aid Society, uh, right. it's their job to investigate and no questions asked. They don't ask parents nothing. But I'm telling you, that, that was the worst day of my life. When Cassie came home, she was bawling. She's like, Mom, they were going to take me away from you. And I was like, no, they wouldn't have, Cassie, because I didn't burn. She goes, I told them you didn't burn my fingers on the stove. And then she told me the girl up the street, the one that always teased her at the bus stop, is the one that told everybody that Cassie's got her finger. She goes, ha, ha, you were bad. You got your fingers burned on the stove. Well, that got back to the school principal. And next thing you know, that's how bullshit started. I'm telling you, I was sick to my stomach probably for a week with that glue gun. And I mean, that girl had blisters. And I'm telling you, I was I was panicking. I was freaking. And I was just really, really upset. The fact that the school really literally thought I burnt my daughter's fingers on the stove. Like you said, they don't ask questions. They don't. They don't ask enough. I didn't know anything about it. Until uh, actually that that investigator called me 
and said that they were very happy with what uh, the response was with my daughter because they took her out of right out of class to go talk to her and ask her what happened to her hands. Man. And they and they asked to see them and she goes, it looks like you took really good care of it. And I'm like, I guess so. I didn't burn her. And I said, who in God's name would burn their children's fingers on a bloody burner? You know, like I was so, so mad. I honestly was. So anyway, that was, uh, that was a tragedy. I just wanted to share that with you guys that, yeah, I was a bad parent. So what do you guys think if I just uh, find a way to finish off these ends? Because if I try to tuck that underneath here and put paper on top that's going to be really bulky over this but this handle turned out pretty cool so yeah, <laughs> looks good. i yeah. really actually love this so yeah anyway that's uh quite the story huh but i'm sure all kinds of things happen to people in the end actually i think i'm going to put some uh nice designer paper on it fold it on here so it's all tucked in, finished nice. But I think the, the piece de resistance on this story is her mooning the neighbor. Yeah, okay. Well, that's not all they did. They, um... <laughs> oh, Lord, what else did they do? <laughs> well, remember back in the day we had barbecues that had coals in them? They looked like, like lava rock? Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, all my utensils were disappearing out of my kitchen. Like, I'm like, where's my... <laughs> spatula where's my spoon you know like things just started disappearing well I thought okay I said to my husband at the time I was like can you go get some propane for the barbecue so we can have a barbecue tonight so he went to get propane I opened up my barbecue every single filthy dirty lava rock was all on top they were barbecuing progies they said and all my utensils from in the house were inside the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, now what? Well, at least I got them back, you know? It was like, well, where did all my utensils go? I'm missing everything. All this, all the egg lifters, all the spatulas, the spoons. Yeah, they were cooking on the barbecue. Thank God it didn't have propane. <laughs> God only knows what so they that's would have when done. Had imagination. Right? Gosh, those two kids, I'm telling you, they were <laughs> they were a nice. Let me tell you what me and my sister used to do. We used to go down in the laundry basket down on the stairs. <laughs> oh, I bet every kid did that. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. You're gonna hurt yourself. It was fun. Who cared, right? Did you ever you get know, hurt? You're fearless. Well, yeah, when you're yeah, a kid like hurt, that, we were fearless. That's, right. Let's play with glue guns because <laughs> we're fearless. Have you ever gotten so, like, you, when you, I remember this vividly. I was doing something on the swing set and I thought myself stupid, really. I just, I saw stars. <laughs> I woke up. And I, you ever had one of them moments you run in and you say, I love you, mama. <laughs> I love you, Mama, but let me tell you something. <laughs> I love you, Mama, but I almost hurt myself. <laughs> did you want to know what I did, did Mama? Break. You don't want to know what I did, Mama. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. There was something my brother did, and I don't know how in the hell my mama did not know about it, but I, he prayed. He told me to don't you kill Mama. Don't you kill Mama. My brother was a daredevil, okay? He's a daredevil. Oh, yeah. Hi, Brenda. Well, my dad just got done building this, gosh, it looked like 60-foot barn, you know, at least. It was really tall. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, his dumb butt goes and climbs and gets on the roof. All right? He, per he sits up there and perched up there like a damn crow for a couple hours, I guess. <laughs> Just being him. Right. And uh, he went to get down. He misstepped and he slid off the tin roof oh. and landed. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Excuse me. Bless you. Bless you. And landed on his ass. Straight back. <laughs> Ouch. Well, you know, I had to keep an eye on him because I. 
even though mama watched him, I had to double watch because he was dumb and stupid and doing, I mean, he would do some of the crazy, I got some stories, oh my God. He would do some of the craziest stuff. So I noticed he was sitting on the ground and he had sat there a good time. And I finally walked up to him and said, what's wrong with you? He goes, look, don't tell mama, but I just fell off of the barn. I said, what do you mean you fell off the barn? He goes, I fell off the barn and landed on my ass. I said, can you walk? He said, I haven't been able to move for 45 minutes. So I finally, I said, Danny, I said, Donnie, we've got to get you up. We've got to figure, <laughs> we've got to get you up. Make sure you didn't paralyze your damn self. So I started pinching him. He could feel everything. So I slowly helped him get up for an entire month. That boy could not, he said he had to poop sideways, <laughs> lay on the bed, uh, just on one side. His bruise was so big on his thigh and his buttocks, it, from the bottom almost to the, cr the crease of his knee, and one whole cheek looked, I mean, like the nasty, the real nasty bruises that are different colors. And he never told mama, and my mama did not find out about this story until two years ago. <laughs> I know. I know. And uh, have y'all ever played that game, Jailbreak? No. I remember it's it. Like hide, it's kind of like hide and seek, but if you get caught, there's the jail. You got to wait at the jail's like base, and you, you can't leave it unless one of your teammates taps you in. Yep. Well, we were playing that, and you know the big, tall pine trees? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Let's Debbie. Let's just say I climbed to the top. I climbed to the top, slipped, and I fell all the way down. Landed on my back, knocked the wind out of me. My mm -hmm. mom still don't know to this day. Yeah, and you're going... <laughs> okay, yeah. Debbie says, my sister has laundry chutes in her closet. Her youngest son went down one. He broke the ping pong table in half. They <laughs> kept under it to catch the clothes in the basement. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you something. What me and my brother did, and I was, how old was I? I think I was five. He was four or five. I was six, maybe. Anyways, my mom and dad just bought a house on in the city when they first, my stepfather, when they first got together. So I met him when I was two. So I remember this at the age of, I, I know I was five or six. I knew how to light matches. <laughs> you guys know where that's going, right? Uh -oh. Okay. No, I, I see where this one's going. Go ahead. <laughs> my mom and dad, my mom and dad just bought a brand new pool table for their rec room downstairs. The actual no, the oh, plastic was Here. still on the felt and the cardboard was on top of the 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 pool table. Oh. And me and my younger brother were downstairs playing. And I don't know where he got a pack of matches from. But anyways, um, he didn't know how to light the match. So I said, well, give me it. And I remember lighting that match for him, striking it till it lit. Well, he took the match and he held it up underneath the cardboard that was on the corner, the pool table. The cardboard went over. He held the match. The whole freaking pool table caught on fire. Oh, God. My mom was sleeping oh, on the couch. Ass whipping coming. My mom was sleeping on the couch. I had to run upstairs because there was a major fire in the basement. I had to run upstairs and get my mom. Uh, my dad and my mom came running downstairs. My dad tried to grab everything and put the fire out. The plastic from it melted on his hands. Oh. I'll never forget that. I, actually, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking of what my poor man went through. And anyway, um, <coughs> after that, my brother and I, you know the kettle kettles back then? They had cords that you plugged them in. Mm -hmm. we, got mm -hmm. a kettle, we got the kettle cord whipping of our life. Ooh. And by George, I, I honestly believe we deserved it. What what we did to them. Brand new pool table. We literally gutted the basement. My dad put that whole fire out uh, with his bare hands in a bucket because the laundry room was right there. And he was grabbing the water and shooting the water from the, of the bucket onto the pool table. But, oh, my God. We burnt his brand new pool table. And, uh, Man, we 
We had imagination when we were younger, though. Right? Like, let's light a match and just burn the house down. Why don't we? So then later on, a few years later, my dad built his brand, own brand new camper for his truck. And me and my brother were, were tyrants. I'm telling you, I was so bad when I was younger, hanging out with my brother. Because <laughs> he always got me into trouble. Anyways, um, our next door neighbor, we couldn't stand them. They were so mean to us. They were like, get out of my yard. Get out of my yard. Remember that? We were always getting crapped on because we stepped foot on their grass. So what we did when they weren't home, they had cardboard in their basement. Y'all go piss on it. <laughs> no. We lit it on fire. <gasps> <laughs> they're a little goddamn they're a little freaking pyro but we didn't get caught you see we didn't get caught we didn't tell burned down? no but all the the whole siding in that back in the day then those houses were built to never burn i guess i don't know but we burned all the window frame and <laughs> and everything so anyways underneath the camper where me and my brother lit the wooden matches we were tucking them hiding them under the camper because my dad had the camper out in the backyard on stumps you know just to keep it because it was on the back of the truck at the time <laughs> and when he lifted that up like my mom was just like gutted that the neighbor's house was on fire and she had they weren't home and uh, anyway, my mom felt so bad for them. So, because my mom was friends with her, but we hated her because she always yelled at us. <laughs> anyway, um, a few, maybe a few months went by. My dad was putting his camper back on the back of his truck. And <laughs> all those wooden matches, he's seen them. There comes the wooden spoon again. <laughs> my brother and I got, my mom knew right off the bat that that fire was caused in the neighbor's house because of me and my brother. We couldn't even lie about it. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> what, oh if, you were, if you were my kids, I would have done put the matches in a lockbox. <laughs> well, after that, we didn't do anything anymore uh, for fire-wise. <laughs> we decided because we used to have these public swimming areas these public swimming pools that we can go swim during the summer months for free we still have them here actually I do. and anyway um my brother and i decided we were going to go swimming and steal bikes from the from up against the fence <laughs> the people keep <laughs> there's this one guy i really really liked him and i was i was seven years old and i was so in love with this guy my mom was at Safeway shopping, and I decided to follow him home and steal his bike because I just liked him so much that I knew he'd come after me and pay attention to me if I <laughs> stole his bike. Oh, my God. I wasn't even that great at riding a bike yet because back in the day, we had milk trucks where milk was delivered to your house in those milk jugs, and... All I remember is waking up in the hospital and I remember distinctly the doctor telling my mother not to let me go to sleep um, because I got hit by the milk truck on the bike and it just severed my temple where I, where I have that scar. Whoa. So I was very, very lucky. I had a concussion. I was very lucky to be alive. Uh, my sister was at home. Patsy, you can ask her because she was at home when all this happened and babysitting us and my mom was grocery shopping and he, she said the guy was running up the street asking anybody if i knew where i lived because he had just hit me on a bike and i'd had no bike i stole the bike and i rented it <laughs> and anyway um i just remember talking to my dad he was working out of town in scriber and i remember talking to him on the phone and i was crying and i remember him telling him that uh, they didn't even give me a licking. I thought I was going to get a licking for stealing that bike. <laughs> but I didn't even get a licking. I got away with that. But, yeah, that, that taught me a lesson. <laughs> but the guy came running down the street with me. I was going to say, you probably getting hit by that truck with a lesson. Patsy said he was carrying me in his arms to the house, and I was bleeding all over the place. So she freaked out, and she called my mom at Safeway, and they had to page my mom in Safeways. 
because they had to rush me to the hospital. <laughs> I ended up with stitches in the side of my head, right where my temple is. I just like, you know, a hair away from smashing my temple. I would have been dead. Instant. That's instant death. So, yeah, that, that taught me a little bit to, to calm down. <laughs> there was a time me and my brother were late getting home for supper because back in those days, you don't go home late for supper. No. Your supper, no. Your supper's at 5 o'clock. You better be home by 5 o'clock. On that porch. Yes. Well, uh, me and Charlie were. Without. Yep. Or we got a spanking. Spanking. You got your ass whooped. Yeah, we got our asses whooped. So we knew better. So me and my brother uh, were like a half an hour late. We were panicking. So we beat each other up, punched each other in the face, gave each other red marks. We made all kinds of marks, scratch marks on our faces. And we, we went home and told my mom we were late because we got beat up by two guys. And we had to explain to the cops what these two guys looked like. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my God. I don't remember telling my mom that. She believed it. She did. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, yes, I know. My brother did. See, I told you, my brother's the daredevil, right? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm about, I'm five years older than my brother. So, he was about eight, seven or eight. He had this bad habit, very bad habit of kind of stuff taking a rope tying it to the back of his bicycle and then tying whatever he wanted to drag while he was riding the bicycle yeah all right my dad had just put up fence posts you know the not the big wood ones the the straight metal one yeah like chain link yeah for chain link or or, or bob wire or whatever you want to use well he just put them up well me and my dad walked out on deck and this is how it went. We heard him coming around the house, right? Heard yeah. him coming around the house. And Daddy goes, I, I guarantee you he's going to go straight through that fence post and that board he's got tied up on the back of that bike is going to run up that pole. Within 6.2 seconds, he came around that damn house. I mean, full, full on, man. Just all he had. Went straight through them fence posts because we didn't have the wire up yet. And that skateboard caught up at fence post and that sucker done two somersaults. Shoo, shoo, and landed on his back. Well, I started to walk out there and check on him. My dad is trying everything he can to keep his composure. Me, I fell on the ground laughing. I couldn't, I could was I was crawling to him because I was laughing so hard because he said. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> he was serious. Oh my god. It was so damn funny. It was bad, but it was funny. But then he he, <laughs> he said, let me lay here for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you leave him lay there for 20 minutes? Yeah, I sat with him and he finally got up. <laughs> it knocked the breath out of him. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard that expression? The ground came up, came up and met you. Yep. Sure <laughs> that ground came up and knocked the taste out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my God, y'all! I will never forget this. Okay, like I said, I was five. I'm five years older. <laughs> I was about, Donnie was just, he was walking and he was learning um, how to potty train. And I remember this so vividly too. I guess I was around six-ish, seven. <coughs> and uh, I'm in my bedroom and my brother, bless his heart, bless his heart. He was only tall enough to lay his little wee wee on the toilet seat. He was learning, right? But the, what his bad habit was is that he would take the toilet lid and he was he would fling it up and it would catch <laughs> and fall back down on it. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it did. I heard the biggest scream out of the bathroom. I heard my mother running and she put him on the couch and she said, "Angie, go get a go get a wet rag. Get it really cold. Go get a wet rag." 
Well, I brought that red rag to him, and I swear my little brother's pee pee was the color of a damn of an eggplant and about the size of one. <laughs> Mama was freaking out. She didn't know what to do. And then what happened was he laid it, he laid his little baby there, and the lid fell back down on it. Ouch. That was scary. That was uh, that would hurt. That was scary. That one, it's funny, but that one was scary. That that was because the scream I remember. I remember that scream. It was like, oh my God. Well, after all those years of putting my mom and dad through hell, me and my brother, they built a house in the country so we couldn't get in it any more trouble but that <laughs> that was wrong have you ever played ding dong ditch no it's where you go to your the neighbors you hate the most and you bang on their door like you're the popo oh we called that knock knock on ginger well it's called ding dong ditch here where you do oh. it and you take the phone you take off <laughs> no we would you, we would go ring people's doors knock on them and, yeah, and run well, away don't. yeah well i played ding dong ditch and uh we, kept, was fun. <laughs> we kept messing with this old man because we lived in a we lived in a city once in a sub, uh, subdivision. We kept messing with this old me and my brother, kind of like what you and your brother did, yeah. because he was mean. He would he'd be like, "Get out, get out of that yard! Don't make too much noise. Get out of the yard." Well, did we you ever go raid people's gardens? <laughs> no, we no. did. Used to go steal the carrots out of people's gardens and eat them and go, What's up, dog? And we'd be walking down the street eating carrots. <laughs> but yeah, we played on our way to the swimming pool. Well, one day that old man, we we thought uh he called us because we were running and he he come out on that damn porch with his shotgun. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well that was the last time we ding dong ditched his ass. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't do that too much in the country because the houses were too far apart. <laughs> well, that's when mom and dad built their house out in BFE. I had a three-acre front yard and a four-acre backyard. Yeah, we had a very big yard. That's where I was 11 when we moved out there and 12. And we still managed to hurt ourselves and... uh Oh, yeah. My mom and dad went away. I killed their ducks. My brother smashed my dad's truck into the brand new garage door. Oh, yeah, we oh, did everything. Mom, well, we had the real bad ice storm um, back in 93, I think it was. My brother, because we had, we had wood stoves for heat. And uh, it was my brother's job to go outside and get the, the wood so I could keep the... Because that ice storm was so bad, my parents would leave like at 8 o'clock in the morning and they wouldn't be back till 4 because the, it, the whole damn state was under ice. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was bad. Um, and uh, <laughs> his dumb butt went out there in his underwear, no shirt, one sock, and one shoe. I, I still haven't managed to comprehend this, but that he went out and got some wood. Well, I taught him a lesson. I locked his butt out there for 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Geez. 13 degree temps with wind chill below six for about 20 minutes. I finally let him in. He comes running in with the wood and he, he takes his feet and he plasters them against the side of the uh, fireplace. I said, that's what you get for being stupid. Yep, we did a lot of crazy ass things back in the day. And you know, a conversation come up uh, yesterday uh, with one of my friends from school, and he asked that question that's really been hitting the, the media, you know, about all these mass shootings and stuff. And he said, I remember when we went to school, our parents had guns, people had guns, people were bullied or fought, they fought it out right then, and the, the teachers scolded us just like our parents scolded us. Right. You know, we do something bad at school, we would get the same place and it's not worse at home. So, and he's like, what has changed? And I'm like, it's, the parents are scared to parent, is my right. opinion. 
they sure are. They're scared to parent. They're, they're, they've given their children way too much power. And, and like, it was so sad. I see videos all the time of children, uh, parents going, do you know what a mud pie is? And they were like, what is that? A new cookie or something? Or, and then show them a, a rotary dial cell a telephone and they look at it like it's some kind of, you know, it, it, it just baffles me what has changed in 20 years. Yep, exactly. A lot has changed. Kids, kids, our generation, our kids now do not have an imagination like we did. We went out and played, got hurt, so we weren't as sensitive to the things now. But a lot of things has changed. Cell phones. Their imagination are, are fabricated for them. They, you couldn't hand them sticks and a ball and say, go play. Nope. But you could do a lot with sticks and, some, and a ball. You got, we got innovative. I remember, I don't know if y'all remember, but I remember playing so hard as a kid when I would come in and take a bath, the grass blade where the grass had cut my legs, my legs would burn when I got in the water because mm -hmm. I played. Cause I played so much. Yep. And I, had, yeah, I would be, we would be outside all day. Uh huh. My mom. Yeah. My mom would, was would put days. us outside all day and she, we'd come in at a certain time. She made sure we had, you know, Kool-Aid snacks, lunch or whatever. And then we'd go right back out. I remember yep. as a kid, the snow season, winter season, getting snow. That was the funnest. We would like build ig igloos, like literally igloos and dig holes in it and we were sitting in the igloo but now these days oh don't do that it might collapse on you we didn't care then no we were fearless yeah we were i mean we would for all we were doing some crazy stuff like i said that would that nearly knocked you out you woke up like okay that was bad <laughs> yeah And honey, I don't know about y'all, but I never hardly ever got sick when I was a kid. Hardly ever. Me neither. And now. I hardly got sick either. I hardly ever got sick. And then after, I think it was like after 18 years old, I started noticing things. And that's when I stopped, you know, that's when I got a job and I stopped, uh, being a kid basically you're growing up yeah you know? and then life hit me and then that's what happens i mean i never got sick when i was a kid or back then if we did get look if we did get a cold or anything it wasn't that important to go to the doctors because it was just a cold we didn't need to be medicated 24 7 exactly we didn't we didn't need an antibiotics all the damn time and all this, we didn't even, you know, I had chicken pox. Hell, I survived chicken pox. You know. Yeah. I think if there was one thing I could have changed about raising my kids is not raising them in the city and actually raising them in the middle of nowhere where I'm at now where they would have no choice but to think outside the box to entertain themselves. That would be the only thing I would change. <laughs> See, I think our generation, you know, us, me, you, our generation was forced to put these newfound technologies onto our children because the schools are like, okay, we're doing computers. We're doing uh PowerPoint and all this other stuff. We're, we're changing with the masses. Well, of course, and then they changed the curriculum from, oh my gosh, the mm. curriculum and everything. And that's why, like my daughter says, I'm just not challenged anymore. You know, because the curriculum was just so advanced. I, I pray, I'm, I'm happy our children are like that, you know. But the curriculum alone is just crazy. They're doing they were doing stuff in ninth grade that I was doing in eleventh grade, and I'm like, 
I feel jaded. I feel, you know, like, why didn't I have these opportunities? You know, the only language I was allowed to learn was French. That was it. That was all that was ever offered. But you can't look at it like that. We have things that our children will never get a, even a, a, a dash of what we got to experience as a child. Right. And see, I think if our children felt that and more and more parents raised their children under the, the same things that we were raised on, they wouldn't be out here doing this crazy stuff. They wouldn't be stuck in the house and suffering with obesity. They would be running and, and playing and stuff and they would be, you know, they would be healthy and then uh, well-rounded. Wouldn't be, I don't know. Okay, I shall return. I am being paged. Ow. Okay. Ugh. God, I need to put that away. And I'll be right back. Okay. But yeah, that, that. I remember freaking being, you know, growing up and like not having to have a babysitter be home with you. You were left alone. You yes. Know, at seven, eight years old. Yeah. These days you can't do that. It's considered child neglect. We, yes. we survived. And, and, and get this, I could ride in a car and hang it halfway out of it and, and put my feet out of the windows like we used to when we were rowing down the road and hang your head down, let the, let the wind flap her hair back and um, be able to look over the front seat of a car while your parents are driving. No, they all got to be strapped in like they're going to fucking uh, space. And... and <laughs> It's ridiculous. Now, I, you know, seat belts, yeah, they're safe. But I never wore a seat belt when I was younger. Not one. You know, except things you know, change. Except when, of course, I was a baby. But what I'm talking about is like when I remember, you know, I was leaning over the front seat and talking to my parents while they're driving down the road and me pointing at things and asking what it was and. No, there were no worries no worries and then right. i remember but listen to us now angela remember our parents preaching it to us <laughs> yeah back when i was growing up and now we're preaching it now it's like history changes like no it just comes to a change, full circle things change it just comes to a full circle. Do, hey, did your parents, like, you'd be going down the city or whatever, and all the kids would be standing up, and all of a sudden they said, sit down, lay down, here's a cop, here's a cop, lay down, lay down. Did you yep. Hear? Yep. <laughs> yep, I heard that a lot. I heard that I a lot. Riding in the back of my dad's uh, Chevy pickup truck. Yep. All the like, time. Yes, when we were in the back of a pickup truck, but he'd go, my uh, dad would flip over right. the, the window and say, lay down, lay down. Oh, he would open up the window. Get down, get down, come. Get down, get down, get down. He'd be like, what? <laughs> God. Yes, wow. I remember those days. God, I remember I those feel days. so, I'm making myself feel old and like, I wish I could like go back. <laughs> Redo it all. Yeah. I do too. Sometimes I mm. I reminisce and I'm like, damn, what? Like, especially when I feel uh, down because of my illnesses, I'm like, what the hell changed? What happened? What switch was flipped that I can turn back off and 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 that and just completely cut the cord? You know, those were yeah. the good old days. I remember, gosh, I'd come, you know, okay, get this. Now, this now this one is funny. You remember how we would play and our shins and legs look like somebody stamped the Morse code, all the bruises we would have? Mm-hmm. If a child walks in to the school looking like that now, they would they would investigate for abuse. My daughter. Right, yeah. My daughter. Debbie's like, how about, the, I remember the rear facing third row seat in the station way. And yes, I remember those. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and be like the creeper in the back saying, I can see all the drivers. And then feel like they're sitting there staring at you. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Oh, yeah. Or I used to, me and my best friend, man, we, were, we would mess with our mothers. 
uh, like when the car would stop at a light, we would start. Oh, now, no, this is not no disrespect to the eel or anything, but we would act like we had issues, <laughs> and we would start licking the wa licking the <laughs> the windows and going, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and people would look at us. We would mess with our parents so hard, so hard. But yeah, it was kind of like when Ruby started. Yes, it was, Christine. So I got Happy Meal and Angela. Look what I got today. <gasps> you got yours. Uh -oh. I did. We can do it together. I can't. I got to do eat. My God, these hangers are super small. Yes. That's what I realized. So, but I'm going to come up with an idea. Chill out. I got a plan. <laughs> Okay, good, because I'll have to follow your plan. These are way too small. And this might be, I don't know, looks bigger than the picture. <laughs> anyway, I got Happy Mail from Mina Azuma, and I'm pretty sure it's fairies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's fairies. I'm excited. Me I just too. covered up her address because I'm sure she doesn't want that publicized as I would wouldn't not like I don't give it away on my warmest thanks oh look at Ooh, look at the fairies look at the fairies thank you so much for your kind comforting words I hope you can use these die cuts love Nina I sure can Nina look at Oh my gosh, there's so many different kinds. Oh wow. And the lantern ones, look. With the jacket. Oh. These are oh, so I cute. Oh, look at these ones with the butterfly. Oh, the butterfly one's so cute. Oh, these lantern ones are gorgeous. Oh, They're so thank detailed. You. Yes, that's what I'm afraid the scan and cut won't pick up and cut all that detail out. But hey, I will try it. Oh, I like them ones, which are so pretty. pretty. You need to use the Inkscape program so that way you can um, make it as an SG file, SVG file for the scan and cut. Right. Oh, look it. <coughs> Those are cute. I really like the butterfly ones, though. Mm -hmm. I like them all. Where did them come from? They came from Mina. Look Ooh. at the little precious little girls. Oh, they're my cute. Tinkerbells. Little Tinkerbells. <laughs> they're <laughs> Hobbit fairies. Oh my goodness. I oh, love all yeah. of these. I got all my fairies nicely together. I like the ones with the butterfly wings. Yeah. Yes. Oh, those are beautiful. Thank they're you. Fairies. Thank you, Mina. Oh, wow. Lots of fairies now for my album. I'm so happy. So happy. Thank you. Okay, I kind of got a layout here, but I think I mucked it up. But that's okay because I can. I can Hi, Shirley. This really easily by just gluing it down. Oh, Ruby, I think this will work. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, as long as you think it will. Um, oh, don't go moving around on me now. Jeez, these glue strings. I didn't want to move this around too much. But looks like I'm going to be. Now, see, if you go to a rummage sale and you see a dead artificial fern, take them leaves off. There you go. Right. I was sitting here talking and I was muted. Hi, Shirley. And I like how you arranged the flowers, Ruby. Well, thank you. <laughs> now, to get them back that way, <laughs> that's the thing. So I know that this beautiful one is right here. Okay, this next big one, this right here, it's just tucked inside. 
I am going to use for mine the lavender collection. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So. Yes, because I thought. No, oh, I think that went there. Right. That went there, and that went there. I don't remember. That's why I didn't want to move these too much. I love these flowers. They're so pretty. And I know this one was here. And I have all of these beautiful dyes from Right now, I'm in the designing mode of how I'm going to do this. I really like that. Gorgeous. Yes, now I've got these stick pins that I would like to stick in here. They're pink. I think I'm going to add them in there. some really teeny tiny ones and I honestly thought I had um let me check other flowers for little ones I have something in my bag of leftovers of smaller ones Ooh. everybody's saying it's beautiful and pretty Ruby I like those. everybody's loving it thank you oh, that one's purple Oh, here's a nice little brown rosette. That will go perfect right there. That's where. Oh yeah, it really shows off that pin. Yes. Well, the pin's just kind of standing up in midair. Doesn't look right. So now that looks good. Tiny ones. These are left over from all my other projects. And I just dumped them into one bag because I don't have any specific place for them. There's one in the pink one, but not the blue. That one pin, the last pin you put in, you did not glue it in. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I did not. Whoops. I think you said something, Martha. Ah. Okay, that's my little bit of it. So we can't use... Five by seven, but maybe this one there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I'm going to stick a cork, a bottle on here. 
maybe shove it in here somewhere. Oh, I need a smaller one. This one's way too big. Oh, right. Oh, you right. got them ones from Tim Holtz? Oh, no, I got these ones, though. I got pink butterflies I can use. Oh, the gold ones. Not the blue, though. This is that one. Here's that one. That one. Oh, Barbara. Barbara fell yesterday and so sore. How did you fall, honey? I hope you're okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to see the earrings that Barbara made for Angela's daughter. Oh, so, Deborah, Deborah, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie made them. Oh, Debbie, that's what I meant. Here's the tiny the little spoons are so cute. Yes, I got lots coming, so don't you guys worry. Of all kinds of them. All kinds of sizes, even these scissors, these mirrors. I love it. Do I have one in gold? I think I don't. Oh well. Alright, well that's fine. Okay, so that's gonna hang off of it. That one, that one, and this is to make a bottle. I'm not going to make a big one. A little one. And I need a thing. And I need an in bed. Angela, you have a picture of the earrings on your page? Yes, ma'am, on the Facebook. All right. They're beautiful that Debbie made. Just yes. beautiful. They match that dress to a T. Where did I put that bottle? They're sticking in here. I did. All right. So I want some pink. Some beige and some mint green. So let's put. Oh, geez, I filled it right up. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. There's some pink. And we'll put a little bit of beige. These are little teeny tiny micro pearls or micro beads. Some beige. Oh, yeah, I did see them. Yeah, they are pretty. Very pretty. And some green. Whoa. Oh, she's even got rhinestones on the dress, too. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, very nice, Debbie. I just love them. And the blue fell out, so that's okay. So that's going to go on there. Look at little beige, pink, and, and mint green. All right, so what I need to do is glue, glue this cork on, or it's going to spill. i tell you what, I couldn't have... Um, that quality or that look at any store, no, Macy's, JCPenney, wherever you want to go, I couldn't have found it. And see, she had made me and my daughter a pair of um, beautiful butterfly earrings, and I was like, okay, this is the woman's going to make 
my, the prom earrings. So um, I commissioned her to do it, and they turned out stunning. All right. So that's going to hang. That's going to hang. That's going to hang. Let me find some nice, pretty gold charms. Um, we'll hang a butterfly, a feather, um, an owl. That owl was pretty. Um, what else? Not skull and crossbones. Uh, fleur de lis. There's a fleur de lis. Okay, I think that's good. All right. Ow. I don't know why I'm doing these in gold. I don't know. Because I don't have gold scissors. I have silver. And I'm not going to put those on anyway. They don't look good. Um, do I have a gold spoon at least? Um, I thought I did. Maybe not. No more. Might have sold them all. Oh, I do have a gold. Mm. Oh. Yep, had to go that color. No, yeah. she has not distressed anything, Lincoln. Nope, I haven't. And I don't know if I'm going to <laughs> on the outside. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Okay, so that's my butterflies I'm going to be using in my project. There, I'm using my extra flowers. Did I just drop them? Yes, I sure did. Right. So, I need to find how I'm going to hang this. Hi, Jeff and Marie. Sweet home. Perfect. So, I'm not going to glue this down because I'm going to dangle these charms down on this and maybe put a bow right there. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So, I need some really thin pink. Oh, I've got too much stuff on my desk. Oh, my God. Downsize, Angela. Oh, shoot. Did I have to pull this all out? I need something really thin because some of those, well, they all look pretty easy to get something into them. Oh, wow, pink. Oh, I'm sure there must be something in here I could use. Like pink butcher's coin? Hey, uh, yeah. Oh, and I could use that to tie a pretty bow. Whoa! <laughs> oh, uh -huh. All right. It says, is it daily dose of tea time? Oh, Jeffrey's here. Hey. And that piece here. Bye, last. Have a good day. Bye, Toby. Yes, Toby. Debbie puts Tia drive by. <laughs> Yes, he's coming in here. Oh, shoot. I cut the wrong end off. I was like, what are you doing on that side of the nut? Dang it. 
Yeah. Now, I might be okay with that. Uh, shut my door, please, Jeff and Marie. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't know why I cut that wrong end off. As morons are us. This time, cut the right one, ropes. And it might not work. I might have to redo it. Talise says, while I was inside the scrapbooker's emporium, I was constantly thinking, Penny would like this. Oh, Ruby would like it. It's purple. KK would love that unicorn paper. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we would all love it. Everything. Now, Barbara Higgins says, oh, no, the mailman just brought Ruby's box back. My husband mailed it for me Saturday. And the paperwork he wrote, crafty stuff, where you have to write the items down. What? So, no. Well, I don't think that's right at all. That's telling them what's inside the damn box. You know, you know, it's getting dangerous to get stuff shipped to you because people walk up on your porch and just steal it. And break a leg while they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Why did her someone foot, break a leg? Broke her foot. Yes. This girl ran up. It was raining. This girl ran up real fast and grabbed the box and snagged it and ran off and fell in the, the purse's yard and broke her leg. Broke her foot. Her foot was dangling to the side. Yeah, broke her foot or leg or something. Uh, oh, did she get God. charged? Oh, wow. they found them. They, they found them. And they had stole the woman's uh, husband's medicines. Wow. Like me medicinal purpose medicine? Yeah, everyday medicine, you know, for old age. Oh. So they, they, go, they get those boxes thinking there's uh, narcotics or opiates or uh, stuff like um people are getting high off a of gabapentin um any anything yeah vicodins vicodins a whole bunch of yeah benzos it's ridiculous i never no i go to the pharmacy uh, um stuff And it's also getting kind of dangerous talking about it publicly. Like if you were to get a narcotic and somebody was behind you and you were talking to the pharmacist about it, that person could follow you out of that pharmacy and rob you with it. Mm -hmm. So I wait till I get home and contact the pharmacy. Cauliflower cheese. That's just crazy. And for tea. Where's the little? Oh. oh yeah, it's crazy. People are nuts. People are absolutely out of their damn mind. But to steal medication that's being mailed, some insurance companies now they won't cover your medication unless you get it through the mail. Or if you get oh, wow. They probably got it replaced because it's oh. all on video. 
Yeah, well, my company wants me to uh, do things uh, three months, every, you know, get three months supply or they won't cover it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, well, why don't you ask your doctor if you can get your dark, your uh, pay medicine at three months? I said, girl, I said, you are absolute crazy. I said, the, the, they all, the government tells me I have to see my doctor once a month. Crazy. And it's all because of these idiots. It's all because of these idiots. They 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 make it hard for people. Oh God, you could have. Okay, I don't know if y'all have had this trouble yet or not. But when I had my surgery, I was under another doctor's care, right? Well, he could not give me because I was I had my. Um, pain medication he could not give me my pain medication the one that I was on he had to give me a total different one because the government says that two doctors cannot prescribe the same medication at the same time that sounds logical Lynn says they stole the car the stroller car seat combo that I bought for my granddaughter right off the porch oh yep Wow, really? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bad. It's really bad. Because they can take that to the pawn shop and get money out of it and go buy freaking dope. Hell, they could take it straight to Walmart. Oh. I had someone steal my credit card information and order um, industrial saws from Africa. Mm -hmm. Wow, how? Me and Danny's information... You rem you remember when Target uh, stores um, information got stolen? All the credit card people's credit card numbers. Well, me, me and Danny were in that batch. And uh, well, that's good, Lynn. Yeah, we had to get this. We had to file a police report. We had to go up and file a report at our bank. It took all our money, our our mortgage, our savings. Took it all. Um. Cause they they went and rented a, a hotel a condo went to a uh, went to Target Walmart Skechers a casino I mean honey they were racking my daggum part up and uh, we had to file a police report we had to file a, a first report. Really? try the spoon in between the flower on the right and the one above it is it Romy? The very bottom, yeah, right in between there. See what the spoon looks like in there. What is it, Romy? Maybe the other way. Point it to the left. The other way. Kind of. Oh. Lean it that way. What? <laughs> like she's watching what I'm telling her. No, not that. Keep rotating. Rotate. Rotate. Aren't we? No. Like right there. Kind of back it up, back it up, back it up. In between them two flowers. Yeah, there you go. Like no, it don't look right because I got to dangle this now. Okay. So you got to make it a little dingle dangle for this. And that's going right there. What is it, Romeo? What is it, Romeo? Huh? Something? Anything? Oh, wow, Lynn. Sit and rotate. <laughs> A sit and spin. <laughs> sit and spin. Sit and spin. Sit and spin. Oh, God, Angela, you make me laugh. You're so cute, little dog. Uh, I'm just a little country. I don't know if Jeff can hear me, but um, uh, they're going to be redoing Modern Warfare. What's Modern Warfare? I feel like this. It's kind of like Ghost Recon. Oh, okay. The game. So, mm -hmm, it's a video game. Mm-hmm. 
What platform do you play on? Do you play on the computer, Ghost Recon, or, or PlayStation? Yeah, on the computer. I think that is a little bit too big. So, I'm going to try a little one. Let's see what a small one is. Right on, Lynn. Yes. Think positive. I like that one. No good to dwell. Oh, no, I might play uh, cards later. Oh, I like the little bow better. It's cute. I don't know what I like. This little bow is too big. Ooh, that side's nice. Okay, we can take that. All right, Christine. I had some uh, people buying gas, and they wanted to try to get something out of Home Depot or something. I was trying to figure out how they did it, and somehow they got it through the, the gas stations. Yes, if you use your card and the uh, thing on the outside, people uh, put these things. I've taken felt them myself, make sure it wasn't fake. <laughs> I like that. Look. And it still opens and closes and dangles. But now it needs a little bit of bling. A little bit of bling. Bling. And we need to find. I could use some of these jollies boutique. There's some pink ones in here. Does anyone know how you open these? So, reckon them? Yeah, that works. Then. That's how you open them. That's how you open them. Oh, I hit my funny bone. Oh. Why do they call it the funny bone? It ain't funny. Because <laughs> you, it's just a funny feeling you get. This one hurts. Yes, it's got to have sparkle. Hell yeah. Um, you know what? Which one are the end? I don't remember, but I'll grab both. Ow! Don't kick your toes, dork. Ouch, dude. You're in this one. All right. What do you think? Love it. Where's the other one? I told you. Oh. Go. Where did it go? I wish I had a table just for my cutter that I could pull out and cut. Then I wish I had a table just for my thingy that I could pull out and Involved. Everything's in the floor. Okay. My back is starting to break. Uh, what do you guys think of that? Of yeah. the corners. It's actually oh, beautiful. Oh, this is so cute. 
All of the charms. I don't have charms. I can't wait to see the picture of the cover. <laughs> picture of the cover? Look. Yeah, you need to take a picture of it and share it so we can oh, see. Oh, I didn't even take like a picture of my crochet box yet. I'm so bad for taking pictures. You don't take pictures of anything. No, you guys no, I've, been, I've been getting on to her about it. It's like, girl, you need to start taking pictures of your stuff. I know. Yeah, because you like you when you take a picture, you get you see more of the detailed work in it. Right. right. Like people right. like my canvas the other night. People saw more detail and it's a picture of it. Because it's hard to see on the camera on video. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that butterfly. It needs to get poked it out. <laughs> like that light will make all those colors pop That's out, which will you see all the details. I attended it. class. Uh, make a couple more rhinestones. What? I'm thinking a couple more rhinestones. Oh, um, I'm going to put more bling. I would suggest stickles, but she doesn't like playing with it because <laughs> she'll have to do that last. Well, no, because I could do it that. When I just be no, no, I could do that when I end my show, which I'll be doing here shortly. And then I could just leave it yeah, alone and let it dry. Right. Yeah, right on the flowers, a little bit of some stickles. Yep. Which kind? Pink, mint green. The pink. Green. I would if, well, if you're gonna if you're gonna put it in the flowers, have bobble, it. Bobble, you put on the bowl. Yeah. I should just put like highlight a couple of them. I should put clear glossy drops and make it look like raindrops on these. Angela, Debbie got her little hanger kit in the mail today. <gasps> Yes, I got mine today. And mine wasn't supposed to come till beginning of April. So that was pretty quick. Well, it's pretty awesome. Yes. Yeah, I ordered some really cool, cute unicorn stamps, and they're not going to be here until April. I'm bummed. All right. Why is unicorn like token off this year? Uh, I bought my mommy a pair of unicorn um, pajamas <laughs> when she was in the hospital. Aww. I love new pajamas. I really do. I love new pajamas. What did you say, Martha? What? Did you say no? No. Didn't look right. Girl, girl, girl. No to what? That pink thing she put on there. Pink clothespin. <laughs> this is a song that never ends. Bye, Barbara. No. Have a good day. Bye, Barbara. <laughs> Take care, honey. Okay, well, well I'm, I'm working on uh, a design uh, concept right now with the um, little hanger thing. One thing I have to do though is glue these on because they won't stay. So I'm just going to use some of this. Say bye to Barbara. Bye, Barbara. Bye, Barbara. Bye, Barbara. You know, I end up buying the uh, the new embellishments by Genevieve. <laughs> I got mine. 
Okay, no, what new embellies? No, I can't put print them off. What? The new what embelly pack from Genevieve's. Are, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, can someone, yes. share, oh can someone share that? Remember, I'm out of the loop here. Genevieve has a new um, kind of. It's a new album out where it's using all of her scraps, right? All your scrap pieces. <coughs> and she's got a new embellishment um, PDF file that you can purchase to download to embellish your album. I will show Angela them in a second here. As soon as I put. Oh, they're the printables. Yeah. Barbara said she'll have your box in the mail in the morning. She said, "Sorry, hon." Oh, it's not your fault. Don't even be sorry. Goodness, not your fault. I need to put. Yeah, I'll show you them, Angela, because I have them printed out. <laughs> oh, it's okay, boo. No rush. I haven't printed mine out. I have them on my phone. They're so beautiful. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Oh, here's another square one. So we want one more right there. Get off. I'll leave it down. Like that. Right where I wanted to put it. Ling. Yes. More shiny. Oh my goodness, that's those are beautiful. Look. Look at those opals. Yeah. Nice. Aren't those beautiful? Mm, I really love their dangles. I love the dangles. My dangles? Yes, I love your dangles. You like my little dangles? Look at that little mix. She needs dangles got, for her dangles. That's got all the colors that's in this paper right here. It just matches perfect. It's camouflage. It mm -hmm. It's a paper. Well, that's right on in. Yes, it does. Is that a little bottle? Oh my yeah. God, look at the world's smallest smallest little rose pink one <coughs> it's a little bottle where am i gonna put you oh, right there it's... oh yeah look at that the world's smallest little rose <laughs> i don't remember where i got all this stuff <laughs> somebody sent me that or i bought this i don't remember i just don't remember. We need a gold one. That looks like a little major mini uh, Rivoli. Here, right there. Give me a chaton. It's like a Rivoli. Look at it. See it? Mm hmm. I've got some. Where did I put those real Rivolis? Um, yeah, you're done. Oh, what did I do with those? Oh, what did you do with them, Rubis? I have real ones that I found the other day. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Um, don't know what I did with them. Sad. Sad. It's the song that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. What a scene, no, 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 my friends, when people started singing, oh my god, I love this. Oh my gosh. Now to get these, these are nail things. These back in here are going to be a challenge to get all of this back in here. Like that. So I can close my lid. I think she needs to make a box for that too. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, yeah. I don't think it fits. It's a bigger box. 
But we ain't going to have these spilling. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to let you see what I did. I put another Rivoli here. The pink ones. And that's all I'm going to do to this little area. Leave that. And it's actually just a pull-up album. So when you pull it open, look at This doesn't even get into the way of the album when you're looking through it. So tomorrow, I guess I'll work on starting to do some of the inside of it. And figure out how I'm going to put this beautiful handle on this. Oh, this is so cute. My gosh, look at it. looks like a real purse. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm thinking it needs something here uh, to look like a snap. You know what I mean? A purse snap. I'm wondering if, what one of those might look like on it. Oh, look. Does that look good? Looks it's, all right. Ooh. And it looks like it's a little snap there. The, the button for the purse. <laughs> So we will use this right there, right? Is that about even, Stephen? Or should we move it over a bit? Let's have a little look. -see. Looks pretty good there. Um, so pretty. I love this. I don't want to overkill it because I do. I am putting a pocket here, a little fancy pocket. Oh, I really need not to do that. Where's that strip of paper? Okay, so we're going to do this. Okay, so this one ripped right off. Magnets are so strong. There we go. Um, yeah. We will work on that later. I love this. But I do need to figure out what kind of a pocket I'm going to put here. I can camouflage all of this and this here will be hidden by the paper that I use on here in the flaps decorate that it's this here that's uh I have to have a pocket that comes up this high unfortunately no isn't there something else I can do really don't want to hide this because it looks so pretty on the purse. This this finished piece. All right. And if I hide it with a pocket. Ooh. All right. Well, I'm going to put a little bit of stickles on the front here and call it a day. So let me see what we've got for Nouveau Drops and stickles and what did you say to use? Pink. I've got Tickles. Oh, she froze up on us. Oh no. <clears throat> I'm trying to prime my delusion uh -oh. markers. Markers. Sorry. Uh -oh. Okay, hold on. Let me click on the right image. Am I there. back? Yep. Yeah, I, you're see here. You. I see we you. I see you. to click over to another window. Okay, because thing happened. I have pink and green. And I think I'm going to just use the pink and green. All yeah. right. <laughs> so, where am I putting these? Just on the flowers? Or should I put it, make it I look would. Like Raindrops. Hang on, let me get rid of those glue strings.
You could do the pink and green on the flowers and do the raindrops on the um, like cream looking flowers. Do what? Do what? Pink and green put, where? Put your stick. Put your stickles on the green and pink flowers and then maybe do the raindrops on the cream looking flowers. Okay. Are you clicked on your right self? Yeah. Okay. I am. Shit. So put pink on the green flowers? Like little blobs of it? Is that what you mean? No, no. Put the green stickles on the p uh, green flowers, and then put the pink stickles on the pink flowers, and then maybe do the raindrops on the cream flowers. No, oh, I see. Wouldn't you know that one just had to get an air bubble in it? Now they say they see Jeffrey. We see her in small panel area. Okay. Let me click. Oh, there's two of me. Yes, there's two of you. You got to click on the right one. Okay. Oh, there. Took it off my panel. There. Now, can you all see her? Hmm. Debbie says, yay. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Let me squirt some of this out first. Because I don't want a blob of a mess. What the world? I just got lost for a second. There's two Marthas. Oh, good Lord, there is. How do I get that one off? I will eject it. It is gone. All right. That well, just jumped me. I flew the coop. Martha flew the coop, guys. Martha flew the coop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm shaking my delusional markers. Let me meet myself again. Cold and warm and cold. Well, you really sound like you're getting sick, Martha. I don't know. She's contaminated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody's TV is super loud. Not mine. Well, I think that's part for the core. I'm going to leave that alone and let all those raindrops dry. And in the spoon. That's going to look so cute when it dries. 
Let's go to Darling. <laughs> Just think how fast the crafts would be done if there was two. Mm -hmm. True. Very true. Two of what? Well, like there was two me's, two rubies. <laughs> no, two. Them type of two. Two Angela's. Two for five. Fish sandwich at Arby's, I said. All right, I'll let, bring this up close so you guys can see what I did. Probably can't see from that distance. Not much. No, but there's all the little raindrops. Oh, cute. That doesn't look pretty when it dry. Oh, yeah, it'll look gorgeous. So I'm just going to leave that dry now till tomorrow. All right. Jeff and I only work until Thursday, and then we have four days off. Because it's Easter weekend, and we got Good Friday and Easter Monday off. We don't work. We get paid, but we just don't work. Are you going to craft on those days? Uh, all but Sunday. Sunday is Easter. Yeah, Easter. Sunday we will be eating our Easter dinner with the kids. Are you making eggs and all that kind of good stuff? Well, Jeff was going to storage yesterday, but he couldn't find my stuff. So I tried to, to get those Easter eggs made. But I didn't get too far with that, guys. So, yeah. I really, really, really like the front of this, and I really don't want to ruin that. So I'm going to figure out something to camouflage those magnets that I have underneath that, you know, that won't take away from how, how pretty this paper is. That's what I don't want to ruin. So yeah, that's that, guys. Uh, I don't remember where those were, but they are stupid beads. Throw them out. All right, so I guess I'm going to get my butt off here. Oh, let that dry now. Bye, everyone. And Bye, everyone. I will see you guys tomorrow. So I'm thank you. I'm alive. I don't know. I'm right now. I'm Fiddling with this. I got to figure out how I'm going to camouflage my things. So you guys like what I've got so far for my purse? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I really like that. I do. I Just having the flowers on one side, isn't that a beautiful way to do an album? Yeah. I love this. This is going to be gorgeous. <laughs> is that you might need magnets on the back, too. Hold this Everything up. Everything you make is pretty, but I don't think you can top Mary's book. No. No. I think, you know what? I think they're all beautiful. Why? She's not done with that. I have. To... No, I'm not done with it. That's oh, for sure. no. What? What? She does a book, and then her next one's even grander, and then it goes even grander, and even grander. <laughs> Yeah, that's, all you, that's the way you do it. Just keep challenging yourself. Don't be afraid to do anything. Nope, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to do something different with the. Oh, I wanted to show you the ephemeris quickly, Angela. Okay. I'll show you Genevieve's brand new ephemera pack that you just uh, you just cut them out, and she created them. So these are ephemeras that you just print out and cut them. 
Look at this. Oh, one. yeah. I've got some. Uh, I've, do, I've got some of those types that I have created but never put them on sale. I got paper. I got a whole paper line. Oh, wow. Look at this. They're gorgeous. Mm hmm. Borders. I think this is probably my favorite one so far. Yeah, I really, really like this one. So I love these embellishments. So yeah. I'll be using those, some of those, anyways. All right, I'm going to get going because I have to go party. Thank you all. See you all tomorrow. I'll just leave this right here to dry, and there's no excuse for any glossy accent. You'll see this better tomorrow. In, uh, Don't touch when, it. When the glossy accents have literally dried. I even put them on the bow. They look cute. Right now they're milky looking, and I don't like the way that looks till they get clear. I even right. put them on the leaf. See them all over the leaf, the little dog? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless. Bye, everyone. Bye.